How you doing, man? I am blessed. Yeah? Feeling good. How are you? I'm feeling good, man. How are you feeling in the suit? Very lucky. Really lucky. Yeah. Dude, you fucking... I, I listened to... I was listening to some interviews with you before this. Yeah. I just have this, like, grateful attitude all yeah. the time. How do you do that? Well, you know, um, things are things are a lot better than they were before. Yeah. You know, I think that's the way to usually look at it, like... You know, it could always be worse. Yeah. You know, yeah. so with that with that attitude in mind, I think you just always keep a positive mindset. Yeah. On yeah. everything. Yeah. Is it ever? Do you ever have times where it's difficult to keep a positive mindset? I mean, you know, sometimes things get tough. Mm-hmm. You know, but I think what keeps me going is the understanding that it could be worse. You know, and somewhere mm-hmm. in the world, someone else has it worse, so I should still be grateful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, every day is not perfect, but yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Yolo. Yolo. Genuinely, you only live once, so can't stay too upset for too long. <sighs> Man, you want to start talking to some people on the phone? I will be honored. Let's do it. We have on the line. We have with us Julia from Massachusetts. Hello. Julia? Hello. Yes, this is she. Hi. Hey, Julia. Hello? Hello? Okay, I think I hear you guys now. Is this a Gek and, I guess, the Gek version of Liliati? Yes, this is the the Gek Dow Boat. Gotti? Ah, Gotti. Wow. Well, (laughs) uh, pleasure speaking to you guys. Gotti. Gotti and Gek. I have a question. I don't know if you know of it yet. No, please. What's your question? No, sorry. I'm nervous. This is a little nerve wracking. No, don't be. Um, If you were damned to an existence of only drinking cereal flavored milk, what cereal flavored milk would you drink for the rest of your life? That's so easy. Oh, yeah? What is it? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They actually sell cereal milk now. They sell Cinnamon Toast Crunch milk. Have you had the Cinnamon Toast? I've seen that, but have you had it? Oh, I have most definitely. They do? Yeah, I've had it with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's extremely cinnamon. Oh, you've put it in a bowl of cinnamon toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are no more original sauce left. Or, or cinnamon toast crunch milk, or um, Captain Crunch milk. Mm. What about you, Captain <laughs> Crunch milk? Is it is it okay. uh, uh, regular Captain Crunch or like speci- or like peanut butter Captain Crunch? No, Captain Crunch with the berries. Okay. Not only berries, oh, with, the berries. with the berries. Okay. Yeah. D- so the this, the, okay, having had cinnamon toast crunch milk. And having had actual milk that was bathed in Cinnamon Toast Crunch, can you taste the difference between the two? No. Really? So they, they got it. They got it. They I got think it's it. the same thing. If anything, it's a little bit more cinnamony. Cinnamon-y. Julia, what about you? Do you have a favorite milk of cereal that you would eat if you were damned to, did you say you were damned to hell or something like that? you said we were damned to something in this scenario no damned to the existence of having to drink only milk that's flavored like cereal that's not a bad existence no, I, that's I, would, I, but, I would not be that damned i would be i would be okay with it well you know i don't drink milk by itself when they get old though milk. I don't think so. Well, it could be whatever you consider, whatever you identify as dairy, your milk uh, alternative, whatever it is. Well, see, I'm partially lactose, mm. but I love cereal, and I, my favorite food is pizza. Um, so I deal with the consequences, so be. But, um, yeah, you know, I would do it. I don't drink milk by itself, but I love cereal, so I do it. Cinnamon toast, crunch milk. Yeah. You'll only drink milk if it has, like, will you drink chocolate milk? I love chocolate milk. But you won't drink, like, just regular milk? No. I don't really see the purpose. I dip my cookies in milk. Interesting. Would you drink, like, would, do you drink, all right, so let's say you're dipping cookies in the milk. Do you drink the milk if... Don't drink the milk. After the cookies? No, no, if, no. But it's, all, but it's cookied up. Yeah, but no. No, I just like to, I just like to sog up the cookie, but I'm not drinking the milk. Mm. Mm-hmm. Julie, Julie, what do you think of this? Well, this is kind of an interesting debate because, um, for reference, I am 23, and I didn't start eating Oreos with milk until probably a couple years ago. Mm. I only ate them dry until I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm tired of eating chalk. Julia, did it change your life? 
it kind of did. The flavor profile is completely different. I had no idea. I don't know why I stuck to my guns on it either. It was just like kind of a thing I decided I was going to do. And then, you know, it was just a habit. But it's much I'm more. I'm the same way. I'm the same better. way with, chick- with chicken wings. I'm 24 and I, I just had a chicken wing about eight months ago. Really? Yeah. And it changed my life. Really? Yeah. I don't know what I've been scared of a bone all this time. You were scared of the bone. I just didn't. Me really too. I didn't eat meat on the bone. Icky. What's what's bo- both of you? What's the problem with the bone? I don't know. I, I I know. I just thought the bone was. I don't know. It is. It. Is, I will. I will admit. It is like weird to like eat something and then see its fucking bones. Exactly. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. Just, like, chicken, it's a little I macabre. Just, I could just get a chicken nugget, and yeah. then you know, no bone there. D- do you have a favorite? Uh, like brand eating a chicken boneless nugget? chicken wing is what made me go back. Yeah. Oh wait, ooh, wow. boneless chicken wings are dangerous. That's n- that's not that cool. Is they're kind of different- creepy. They are they're even like worse than eating a bone chicken wing. They're too gelatinous. But is there even a difference between a boneless chicken wing? I and don't a think nugget? I don't think boneless chicken wings are respected in any way. No, they're not. No. Yeah. I don't think they're the same thing as chicken. I think they're different. They're lower grade chicken. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I won't find out. Ah, <sighs> Julia. Thank you so much for calling, and um, may we one day bond forever together in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, thy kingdom come, his will shall be done. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, Of course. Gotti and Gek, (laughs) have a great rest of your call. Have a good rest of the night, Julia. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. What do, you think of, what do you think of Gotti? That was, I'm not. I, I'm not against it. Hmm. I'm not against Gotti. What do you think of Gotti? What do they think of Gotti? You I guys like, like it. you like it? I like it. It's like that Gotti. Gek and Gotti. Gek and Gotti. It's perfect. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. What do you between between? What do you think between Gotti and Therapy Boat? Someone said Therapy Boat. I like so Therapy. I, I think Therapy Gotti. Therapy Gotti. Hmm. I like that. Mm. Uh, you know, I like that. You're not an either or guy. You're a both guy. That's a compromise right there. You need compromise to succeed in life. Compr- Man, compr- compromission? Comprom- 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 compromise. Compromise. Comprom- confirmation, you said? Compr- I thought I was trying to say that, like, the right tense were comp- comp- to compromise. Is that compromise? Compromising? To have con- to confirmate it. Confirmed. Ha ha. I gotta say, in relation to the last call, I've heard that you, we have kind of similar diets, I think. Okay. I've heard that you don't eat fruits and vegetables. Nope, never have. And that you only eat like pizza and like chicken tenders and shit like that. Wings now too. Damn. So could you like, could you like name everything that you eat on, on like two, one hand? Two. You eat two things? On two hands. On two hands. Yeah. What's the last new thing that you tried? Wings. Wings. Mm-hmm. Okay. And did it change your life? Without question. Mm. Mm. I have some sitting over there. I smell them. You can eat them on camera if you want to eat them. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, perfect. I'm glad you agreed that I could do that. Yeah, of course, man. This is the sky. There's no rules. Let's take another phone call here. Man, if you could bring me those wings, please. Those wings, and that stool there. Hello. We have Sam from Illinois on the line. How you doing, Sam? Sam from Illinois. What part Hello? of Illinois? My mom, my mom's from Illinois. What, what part of Illinois are you from, Sam? Uh, I'm not sure. It's a little suburb out of Chicago. Called? Uh, it's called uh, Highland Park. Yeah, never heard of it. Uh, it's about like 50 minutes out, I'd say. Well, how are you, Sam? Yeah, Sam. But did you? Um, it appears as though you had you had a, a a question for us. We'd love to hear what it is. Yeah. Um. So I got a story for you, and I got a. I'm wondering a little wondering for a little advice. Sorry, I'm a little shaky right now. I'm pretty angry with uh, the whole situation that's happening. I won't lie to you. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's fresh. It's fresh. You know, it's good. We'll get the emotion of it in here. Oh, really fresh. Oh yeah, you know it. Hit us. So let me get started for you. I get uh, at school on uh, 
college uh, college nearby, staying at home. I go to school and I get a picture from my dad one day, a picture of all of my baits. I do a little smoking here and there. And uh, he's not a big fan of that. He's a pretty hard ass, I won't lie. Mm-hmm. So then uh, <laughs> I don't bring it up. He doesn't bring it up. I go home. There's not much conversation about it. The next day I get home from school. I do a little snooping. I won't lie. I snoop around here and there. Mm-hmm. Go into his room and I find all of my vase, all of my devices, all of my shit. Man, was I angry. Wait, wait Sam. For a second. Let's talk, yeah, Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What 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 were they doing? They were yeah. they just there? Were were they confiscated? You know what? They seemed to be next to his bed, almost in a, like they were being used. I'd say. No way. Mm. So, no way. You're telling us your dad is a mm-hmm. contradictor. He's a contradictor. He is contradicting himself one hundred percent. I mean, how can he? Um, next few minutes, you know, really grinds my gears. Sam, did you did you did you confront your father? You know what? I am not sure if I should do that. Sam, where I'm from, this wouldn't affect me. little predicament here. Where I'm from, Sam, this would in fact make you. And please excuse my language, but pussy. Uh huh. I understand that. I understand that. Sam, you gotta confront your father. For the simple fact that he's been giving you hard shit. If your dad's giving you hard shit and he's doing the shit he's giving you hard shit about, you gotta confront him. Yeah, it is kind of a. You know what? I will. I will not say you're wrong, but I will say it's also a bitch move on his part. (sighs) Sam, how much do you love where you stay? Pretty nice home. Are you afraid of being homeless? Sorry, I'm huh? ice bug. This is probably like hell yeah. Um, hell yeah. You are afraid of being homeless. Hell yeah. Okay, then we'll cross off. I was gonna say you should go smack the shit out of him, but we'll we'll cross that off. You said that he was you. You said, and I quote, "What did he say exactly?" You said he is a little bitch. Would you say that? He says it's a bitch move. He said it's a bitch move. Mm-hmm. Would you say that to his face? Yeah. Mm. Well, Sam. Then I'll play like back. Get kicked out. Wait, hold on now. Now, Sam, let me ask you now. One, one quick before we jump to some conclusions. Do you still smoke? You just said you're high as shit. I mean, you're smoking comfortably, correct? That's correct, bro. What the fuck is the problem? What's the problem? You know, now there's a little, there's a little tension here and there. I'll say that we don't like tension, you know. Nobody likes tension. Mm. You like tension? No, no, no. It's 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 stressful. It's stressful. Yeah. The only way to break tension is with action, mm. Sam. Mm. You got to take some action into this. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the action is to make the mental decision to drop it or if it's. To smack the shit out of your dad. It's one or the other. And the the meter is leaning really left I'm really feeling right. I'm leaning towards the shit out of him. Mm. Mm. Just know, Sam, you will probably, you know? in fact, not have a place to stay after you do that. And I'm for that. You know, I've, I've, I've hey, been Bo. kicked out multiple times. Oh, any chance you got a place for me? No. Thank you so much for calling, Sam. You have Sam. the rest of the night. You too. That's tragic. Have a good one. Love you, Bo. God bless. What do you think about that? I don't know. How... Uh, how Did he say how old he was? No, he didn't. He said he was in college. So he could be anywhere from 18 to 23 or 24 unless he's a fuck up. He could be anywhere from fucking 18 to 30. It, it depends on, like, how much of your parents are, like, paying for you to exist. Mmm. Because, like, if he's nope. just, like, because if he's paying for his college mm-hmm. and he's paying for whatever, whatever, whatever. It's a completely different story. It's a completely different story. Yep. But if if your, if your parents are still kind of supporting you financially, then, like. You got to respect them. Yeah. You, you kind of, you, you're, you're kind of, you're kind of, uh, you're kind of there. But in, 
either situation it's a little fucked up if his dad's giving him hard shit and doing the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Unless his dad just wants doesn't want him to be like him. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it surprised me that he was using the vapes. But technically he doesn't know. Right? I can see his dad doing I, I know. I like what you're thinking. I like the way you're thinking about it. I think see, I think Sam is misguided. I think Sam thinks that his dad is like Sam Sam's coming at it from like my dad's a fucking Puritan. Like he mm. doesn't understand me. Mm. You mm. know, and he's like, that's frustrating him. But like Sam, what if your dad is like fucking vaping ruined my life and and uh because he vapes. Mm. You know, that's the evidence that we this was like, well, Sam, what if what if vaping ruined my life and I don't want that for my son, so I but but I can't let him know that I was an addict because I'm embarrassed. Mm. You know? So he's like, I just gotta I keep think, away from that. I stuff. think Sam's more hurt. I think it's hurt. I think it's hurt. If I could dab and give him hard ass and dad doing the same shit. Sam? This is a tough one. No, because we don't know the full story. It depends exactly. on whether his dad is really taking care of him or not. Exactly. Because you gotta respect your father if he's paying for your college tuition, giving you a place to stay. And he's still smoking, he's still high, he just said yeah. I'm high as shit. So yeah. it's not like he's stopping you, he's giving you a hard time. By the way, no sh- by the way, no shade if like if your parents are paying for your college, like, you know, let's take take advantage of that's great. But yeah. if you know, you kind of you kind of under like like suck it up until oh for sure. Eventually, my, Sam my will get his own for place. Shit. I, 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 all my loans are my own name. <sighs> no. So if your parents paying for your college, man, you're blessed. Exactly. If exactly. you have plan- parents, you're blessed. Exactly. Exactly. Nothing wrong with it, but while you're still under the roof, you gotta suck it up a little bit. I respect 100. percent I respect my parents 100. percent Let's take another call here. Let's see what that honey barbecue's talking about. Uh, we have with us here Axel from New Jersey. How you doing, Axel? I'm doing great. I'm actually amazed that I'm on this phone call right now. Dude, I'm amazed that I'm on this phone. Man, call. I love the name Axel. It's a great name. It's a really good name. Is it Axel? Yeah, man, that's it. Thank you. It's a nice name. Were you named after someone in particular? All right, so I was kind of named after you know Guns and Roses with Axel Rose and all. I, the I knew it. My family loved the rock and roll. That's a little bit. But another thing is, uh, I, my family owns this boat yard in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, and we, there's a, a coral reef right next to it, or like a reef n- nearby it that people always used to fish at when they were younger. And my dad said he was 16 years old, and he was smoking a joint at the reef, and his name is Carl, and the name of the reef is Axel Carlson Reef, and he said he was just sitting there getting baked, and he was like, Axel, Carl's son. Well, that's cool. And I just stuck with it his whole life. That is fantastic. So he was he was baked that, while he came up with your name. Four. Oh yeah, for sure. For a second, I okay. You ever, you ever played the video game Kingdom Hearts? I've not played it, but I know exactly what okay. it is. One hundred percent. I thought maybe your dad was like a weeb, and he named you after the character from Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Uh, I, that would have been cool. I've actually never really played Kingdom Hearts. I've always seen it. RPGs though. aren't really my thing. Second, no, no, RPGs. I'm passing this little RPGs. Like Kingdom Hearts oh, RPG. Yeah, it's an RPG. Yeah, they're not really my thing. I feel like they take a lot of time to get into. Man. And you have to have a lot of patience. Yeah, yeah. I don't mm-hmm. have that. I, I like, I'll fuck with Tetris and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a game called Plinky. I don't know if you haven't heard of it. It's like Halo, but with portals. That one's pretty cool. Plinky? Uh, Splitgate. Like S P L I T. Splitgate. Split gate. Have you heard of split gate? No. Yeah, that one's really cool. What was his question? It's a it's a newer game. What was his question? Oh, Axel, 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 Axel. Did you have like a particular question that you wanted to ask? I got a few. I got a whole list of questions that I've just been writing down randomly as I've been watching your stuff and calling in, waiting for you to answer. Let's do a bunch of random ones if you want me to ask. Pick your pick your favorite two. Pick your favorite two, and we can go through those. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I got. I got a good one for both of you guys. 
Yes. All right. Can you change a tire? Like a car tire. You first. Not at all. You're from New York, right? Uh, no, I'm from uh, I'm from Maryland. Fair. So I mean, I drive, but if my car breaks down, I'm fucked. Me and you both. I'm yeah. not fucked. I got um. Yeah. I press the fucked. button and I just call um. One star. But if I was in the middle of the desert or the woods, and I had a spare tire, yeah. and my OnStar was fucked up, no service, yeah. and I have this perfectly good tire, all I gotta do is put it on. Oh man, don't go into the woods. I would. I would never. Yeah, I try to. I try to. Uh, it's gonna get tough. Yeah, I really do want to. I really do want to go camping, but not camping. But there's. I don't know if you've seen. There's these new things now, like where you can rent like a little, really tiny house in the middle of nowhere. You mean a, you mean a cabin? To, it's That's not been a around cabin. for a while. It's not, it's not like, no, it's not a cabin. It's like almost like a little shack, and it has a glass window. And <clears throat> it sounds like a cabin. I don't know. You mean like glamping? I don't know. Uh, like like the little houses. I know what you're talking about, but like the little portable ones that people just plot down and let you rent. Exactly. I like this guy. I yeah, do. Yeah. I, I like you, Axel. You're a well diverse yeah, yeah. man. Thank you, Rod. Axel, can you change a tire? Oh, wait, I'll... Can I change the time? Can you? No, can you? Can you change the time? <laughs> oh, nah, I mean, maybe if I think hard enough, I might be able to change the time. But the I, time uh, is relative. If I, yeah, I, I can change the time. <laughs> I, I feel can like change if you the tire hard for enough, sure, you man. Could. You know what the answer to that question would have been, right? Axel? The answer to that question would have been what? Yes. Because technically, if you get a flight and go to London right now. Let me ask you something. Do you believe that reality is a democracy? Like, like if, like, all right, for all, like, if you, if everyone has agreed that it's 5 p.m. right now, but what if I to say, no, it's 6 p.m. Am I wrong? Just because everyone else says one thing? I think everyone's entitled to opinion. I don't know how right your opinion would be at the moment. I feel like everyone's entitled to opinion. I feel like this world has been shifted by man and not nature. And when I say that, it's like, you know, all these rules, all these roads, all these clothes were created by a human being, you know? So nothing's completely right. Laws, everything has been created by man. Not everything, you know, but the majority money, the power money has... It's all, it was it was all by man. So then if I so but if I am man, don't I get like a say? Like a man. I... And you have a say. You say it's six o'clock. That's your say. Now how value your say is is depending on the power of the man. And the power usually comes from money. Do you think if you had enough money do you think there's an amount of money that you could have that would give you the power to change what time it is? I think that I think my buddy from Amazon could change the time right now if he wanted to. You think Jeff Bezos, if he really wanted to, could change? I what think time Jeff Bezos could make not only make his own time zone, but I think he could genuinely change the time zone of something. I think so, because he could cure. He could. He could close the debt in the U.S. No, he couldn't. No, he could not. But I think he could stop world hunger. Right? I believe he How has. How much cost to stop world cool. hunger? Like. I forgot. I can't remember what it what it was, but I, I I thought I saw somewhere Jeff Bezos has enough to to stop world hunger. Stopping world hunger for a day couldn't be that expensive. Like buying everyone a McChicken or something like that. Just for a, I think it's the long term hunger that's hard. But just, just giving everyone a, you know for one. Oh, yeah, day if one like day we could treat everyone, just one day. One McChicken per person. It's one dollar, one hundred five technically. How many people are there in the world? I wish we had like a series just on deck to answer all our questions. Yeah, I, you know, I it's like like seven billion. Seven billion, you said. Like seven, seven billion dollars. Oh, billion he could chickens. definitely do that. He gave his wife like fucking. How much did his wife get? Yo, if it's only seven billion people, bro, he could st- be stuck with hunger for like a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah. He could do it for. He could do it for. A, <laughs> I just coughed up. But then everyone would go hungry again. That's what's annoying about hunger is that Everyone it's always... would go hungry, but then Jeff Brazos would literally be able to rule the world. I think like on some Hitler shit. Like I think if he stopped, I think everyone would be awesome. like, I feel like the world would be like, yo, Jeff Bezos, you are a really nice person. I would do whatever you say. 
like all the homeless people that haven't eaten in a really long time. Yeah. He could start like this really homeless army. He and and he he could he could start a whole faction of people who like he's like I will feed you but you have to agree with me wow. that it's 7 p.m. right now. <laughs> wow. It doesn't sound like a bad trade. Cuz it's like if it's I mean it's like where the fuck do we have to be? It's okay if you want it to be 7 p.m. Jeff is 7. I don't fuck time. Time is relative. It's relative. Mhm. Axel, are you secretly Jeff Bezos? Honestly, I'm not Jeff Bezos, but you ever see that video of him playing with those giant robot arms and he has that crazy evil laugh? I'm Is like, that what you the look like right now with giant robot arms? Robot arms. I have never seen that, that Jeff thing. Bezos talk. I've only seen him laugh. That was about have I've seen, seen I haven't seen him talk. And you want to know something else that I don't like? Tell me. Tell me, Adi. The new CEO of Apple. Tim Cook? Yeah, I don't like him. He's not really new. He's he's well. Why don't you like him? The newer. Why don't you like him? Because he doesn't do keynotes all by himself. Steve Jobs did all his keynotes by himself. I think same outfit. Well, Steve Jobs like founded. I think Steve Jobs like he founded the company, right? So he probably has that like desire to. You th- I think it was like a different. Face. I feel like it was a different type of love and respect. You know, I feel like I feel like Tim Cooks doesn't have that same love as Steve Jobs did. I watched the keynote that just happened, and everyone was on it. Steve Jobs would never let that happen. I also wonder how cool they were. What if they hated each other? Like, what if they weren't cool? I think I, they had to have been cool because Steve, like, they like he had to have gotten a vote. Not by Steve. He was gone. No, but they were. They, but when, but he became the CEO right before he died. Before. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure at all. I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he. I think he became CEO after he died. Axel, do you know? You seem like a big Apple guy. You seem like a smart person, Axel. I actually, I actually don't know about that too much. I just know I get iPhones because I like Steve Jobs turtleneck, and I want to be that. I want to be a hit turtleneck. That's. I want to meet him so bad. Over, I want to meet you so bad, Axel. Over over Steve Jobs. <laughs> T- Steve Jobs could sell some phones more than Tim Cook because you just like the dude. Not just phones iPods. No one listens to iPods anymore. No one uses iPods. Do they still sell the iPod Touch? Yes. Oh. Hmm. I think so. Axel, are you secretly Steve Jobs? Tell us. Uh, ooh, I don't know, man. That's a little classified. I'm, uh, that's, that's a little risky. I'm, I am, uh, you know, I can't even think of a joke right now. That one, that one stumped me. I tried to. Think well, of how a about joke instead of a joke, really you tell out. us the truth. Tell us the goddamn truth, Axel. Uh, you're get, I'm trying to hide it. I'm trying to change the subject. All right, get this all right. guy out of here. I'm mm-hmm. almost done. I just lost all the love I have. Oh, for you, Axel. don't get this guy out of here. No, yeah. Bye bye. Listen, oh. Axel. Call back again and try to earn Yachty's respect. We love you. Have mm, a good night, mm, Axel. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I love you, man. You're the be gone. He was a good guy. I loved him. I thought we had became brothers just then. I feel like he became the third gecko for a second. Do you do you form connections fast with people? I'm really good with judgment of character. Really? Yeah. And also, I have so much love for my current friends that I have, I have a friend that brings a friend around. Based off how much love I have for that friend, I instantly, that same amount of love transfers over. And it's hurt mm-hmm. me a couple times because some of my friends... I've brought around some people that are really bad people. Interesting. So if you if you have love for one of your friends and they bring around one of their friends, you're like a friend of mine's friend to friend of this guy's a friend of mine. A hundred percent. Hmm. You know? That's just my that's just my that's how much love I have for someone around me. Like I said, it's hurt me before. Have you do you remember the last time that you made a judgment about someone and you were wrong? It's looking like today if this dude don't come bring me my money. Someone owes you money? Oh, yeah. What do you have to say to the person that owes you money right now, Yadi, if they're watching? I must, because he was supposed to meet me before he went on. And he ain't my phone, so well, I'm going to give it to after this, but we're going to see. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like you're not a guy who I'd want to be on their like bad side. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have people? 
Man. We're going to keep it happy. Keep it positive. Now I'm going to go down there. Look, to whoever owes Yachty money, I just want to say, for the sake of your own kneecaps... Repay the debt soon. Derek from Houston. Derek from Houston, how you doing? What's going on, man? What's going on, Derek from Houston? Tell us everything. Tell us. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear Derek from Houston? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm doing well. First time on the stream. I think I picked a good one. Hey, Derek. I don't like yeah, drumsticks. I'm Derek. What's up? I don't like drumsticks. You don't like drumsticks? Mm -hmm. Are you only e you're only eating flats. the the wings, not the, the drumstick? The flats. I like. Damn, I I prefer. I mean, I'll eat both of them, but I don't, I prefer the drumstick. Really? Yeah, because two bones, too much to manage. Wow. It really is. I'm not a flat guy either. Really? Do you prefer the drumstick? I've yeah, I'm a, I'm a drumstick guy ever. for sure. I've never heard anyone say no, that I'm ever. A big drumstick because the drumstick, the the fucking um, the flat, it's got too many bones. The drumstick, you just get one big fucking meaty chomp into that motherfucker. Pause. What don't you like about the right? drumsticks? We gotta say pause first. I have to say balls. Pause. 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 Who's pause. You gotta say pause when you say something like. Oh, pause. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> I don't know. I just don't like drumsticks. I, mean, I don't like big wings either. I like smaller wings. See, I'm a boneless these, man in, days, in the first man, place. I th I feel You're like paying more money. Really drill you on all these preferences. Pause. Someone's gonna like wait, wait, wait. Pause. Drill me? Like... <laughs> Like, 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 man, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man, just like, like, explain that, man. How do you not like the, the drumstick? I don't know. I don't know. I think Atlanta is just, is, it's just a thing in Atlanta to eat flats. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just a, an Atlanta thing. Derek from Houston? Derek from Houston. How are you doing? What's your, what's your question, Derek from Houston? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Yeah, man. I just remember uh, Lil Yachty just getting uh, really famous over that One Night song. And I know a lot of people are like one-hit wonders when it comes to that like internet type shit. I just was mm -hmm. wondering like how you just kept the ball rolling on that and developed that into like a whole-ass career. Yeah, I swear to God. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Uh, I'm also, no clue. I'm just as surprised as you. What? Right? I mean, you blew up. I just was looking on your Twitter, too. You got a collab coming with Kid Cudi. What's that? What's that about? You saw that, right? I just saw it, too. Yeah, I saw that. That's just, that's just crazy. Yeah, that's exciting. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. But to answer your question, also, Derek, another question on a less now. serious note. Less serious than that. Okay. All right. Yeah. What was your, what, what was, What's the weirdest what, place you ever took a shit in? Well, Derek, I enjoy taking shits. It's kind of like my thing. And it's really awkward, but before yeah. performances, I always have to take one. So, almost everywhere. I've almost, I think the weirdest place I, I, off the top of my head that I can really remember was I was in a porta potty um, in Switzerland. Not Switzerland. I was in hmm, what? New Zealand? New Zealand or Switzerland or Australia? And it was just, it was like a high, a new a newer porter potty, like not an old one. It was a new one. It was really nice, and it was right outside the festival. And uh, my stomach started doing an okie doke on me, and so I went into the porter potty. Excuse <laughs> me. And I had to go on stage. I was running late, screaming my name, Yadi, Yadi. I'm a little nervous. Stomach is going. I'm in the bathroom. Like it's like kind of shaking. The crowd is so loud. And and man, 
you know, like as I was pooping, all I could think about was like, it was the hot dog I had earlier. Usually when it's a bad poop, I'm like, what is the case of this menace? And 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 it was the hot dog. It was it was the hot dog from earlier. And I that's just, impressive that you because I have like when I have a shit like that, I'm like too many variables. Yeah, but you gotta sum it down. Like that's what the whole phase of being on toilet is. It's me like summing down. Like was it the noodles? No, it was no, it was the it was the mac and cheese type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. in this case, it was definitely the hot dog, and I and it was a sense of mama, and I was I was upset with I was, I was upset with the hot dog. I was like, why me? I, I bought you, I dressed you up, and I t- date you. Why would you backfire on me like that? Mm-hmm. What were the what were the toppings on that? Ketchup, just ketchup. But I was overseas, so overseas meat yeah. is a little different. Not a relish guy. No, 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 no. I don't eat. Uh, is relish relish considered a vegetable? What the? F- I don't know. I've never thought about what relish is. I think hmm. it's That's like a good question. It's green. I just if it's green to me, it's deemed a vegetable. I think it's like a. Is it what is it made of? Pickles? I don't know. Pickles? I don't. I don't know. There, I know it's green little chunks of things. Mm-hmm. Which sounds like a vegetable to me. A pickle's a vegetable. Hey, you said this happened overseas. Mm-hmm. Do you use a bidet? No, I've never used a bidet. I've seen many bidets. I'm afraid of it. That's fair. Yeah. Hey, what's the what's the? Question I'm not gonna lie, that water shooting out. Oh man, I was in a uh, Hawaii actually, and uh, I was out on the beach with my sister, and you know we were having a great time. And, uh, you know, like little, like little Yachty, my, my stomach, my stomach started doing the oinky doink. And, uh, I tried to make it back to the hotel and there was this bridge that connected the beach area to like the hotel area. And I was, you know, kind of like run, run walking. Cause you can't really run when you have to take a shit that bad. You know, I was kind of like run walking towards the hotel, trying to make it back and, uh, realized halfway that I wasn't really going to make it. So I saw this bridge where it would give me a nice little cover area to uh, do my business. And I took a bunch of vegetation with me and plopped up under that bridge and, you know, did my business. Best part about it, though, was Wait, the next sorry, day Derek, I came Derek, back I'm sorry. to admire what my is, work. What's, as a normal what's vegetation? Person. What's up? It's like, it's like, like foresty <laughs> shit, okay. like, like bushes. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, like like some leaves and stuff like that. Because I'm not carrying toilet paper around, you know. And so um, I go and do my business. The next day, I come back to my, my work as a uh, normal person would do. And there was like three or four crabs eating my turds. That's cool, though. That's like you gave back to the community. Yeah. I really did. Feeding the, feeding the wildlife. I don't know what I expected him to say, but... I don't think it was to hear crabs was eating his shit. Do you think? Okay, not not from our perspective, mm-hmm. not from our perspective, mm-hmm. from the perspective of the crab. Okay. Do you think? Dare, do you think your shit tasted good? <laughs> I think so. I think it tasted pretty good. Were they? They were like they were like diving. There. They were really eating it up. <laughs> oh yeah couple days it was gone i mean the poop was gone in a couple days the crabs went to work you should take that as a compliment i really should i mean honestly (laughs) best part about it was it wasn't just me looking at it you know other guests around the hotel were circling around this poop Watching these crabs do this. You created like a, like an experience. And you know, as a bystander, I'm not going to say to other people like, yeah, that's did you, my did shit. Did you claim it? Yeah. Did you walk? Like, did you walk by the people and go, "Hey, that's mine"? <laughs> no, you don't have the balls for that, dude. Yeah, no, I didn't claim it. I kind of just sat there, like, uh, like a, you know, like a bystander as well. Like, damn, who would do that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> but in my mind, I knew it was mine. I respect that. You're a good man, Derek. Derek, man, thank you so much for calling. I appreciate it. Of course. Have a good rest of the night. For sure. Appreciate you taking my call. Anytime, Derek. That was so fucking funny. That was, that's, um, that's, he's a humble guy. Yeah. Not to, 
draw attention to himself as the owner of the of the theatrical shit. I rate him a eight out of ten. Do you do you think that again, not from human perspective, but like if you took a poop and do you think an animal that is into poop would enjoy eating your poop? Not at all. No. No, I think he would feel tortured. Take another call. I do. I don't think there would be any pleasure in that. We have Emma with us. How are you doing, Emma? Wait, I'm sorry, Emma. Before you talk, is it okay to eat poop? Is it okay to eat what? Poop. Okay by what? I mean, health. Emma's a doctor. Yeah. Is it okay to eat poop? Like. Like not not okay in like the Can sense of like being judged by people. Is it okay like health wise? Like like if we were stuck in a cave yeah. and we had nothing else to eat, yeah. but we ate earlier and we just yeah. shit it. Like, yeah. can you survive off of eating your poop? Anecdotally, I that's have a really heard good question. That you can't eat your own poop, but you can drink your own pee a couple times. Hmm. When you say you can't, yeah, like, yeah, I've like, actually mean, heard like, that. Damn, when you say you can't, do you hear like when you mean like like you can't like like you try to eat it, it won't go down or like like what do you mean when you say you can't? Do you mean like No, you you can force yourself to eat it. Will you die? You can Uh I don't know if you die, but you I mean you could get really sick from it and probably die. Um so yeah, that yeah, you could probably die. Emma, where did you get your um, PhD? But where, where did I get my PhD? Yeah, you know, you're. We, you're I you I really don't smart. have a PhD. I just I I just I just started community college. So you I don't must know. have like read a book about poop or something. You know more than the average person about poop for dummies. Poop. Well, I do know. I do know that E. coli is a thing. Yes. Um, E. coli. And that... You probably get E. coli from eating poop. Yeah. There's a word for eating yeah. poop. It's, so what is, Emma, really what's the word for eating poop? It starts with a C. I don't, I'm trying to remember what the word is. Do you know the word? Cat huh. I'm sorry. Not at, the, not at the top of the dome. Sorry. I thought you would know. Emma. How are you, Emma? Tell us everything. What You had a question that... Good. How are you? <laughs> you tell, us, tell us what's... Tell us everything. Oh. Um, yeah, um, so I just wanted to say, well, actually, he'd kill me if I didn't say it, but um, my boyfriend really likes your Sprite commercial, um, oh. and my question originally was, if you could have your own commercial or have any creative control over commercial for any brand, what would it be, what product or what would it be, I guess... Or we can just do a different question and throw that one out the window. What? No, Emma, like Emma, you didn't even have to. Emma, I mean, don't do that to yourself. It's a good question. <laughs> yeah. It's a very Stay open-ended strong. question. Stand behind yourself, Emma. Thank you. Do I answer now? I thought, <laughs> yeah, I thought you were just gonna, I th- I th- I thought you were just gonna compliment <laughs> the question and then Well I thought I had something else to say and then I was like Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think cool. it would be a Nike ad. Mm. Mm. You know, and not like a Nike ad now, like a Nike ad in the early thousands when they used to have these big powerful messages that didn't do much but didn't say much, but were like yeah. really powerful. What's your message to the world that we can monetize? For profit. Well, if it's for Nike, then it has to be something athletic. Okay. Um, it, they're not necessarily athletic. No, you're right. Like, Sometimes just do, about like, race. Just do it is not like uh, an athletic thing. It could be, it could be, you could be just doing anything. That's so powerful. Do it, just do it is like literally anything. Yeah, it's literally anything. So, so your your <clears throat> your 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 statement doesn't have to be like shoot a three or something like. That. It doesn't have to mm. be you know sports related. Be great. Be great. Man, I'm going to go out and drop Are there any other... Shoes. Have, have you ever... Just because it'd be great. 
Oops, sorry. No, go for, go for no, it. No, we're so sorry, Emma. No, I'm so sorry. There's a huge delay, so it's really hard to like talk back and forth. Oh, um, no, we're here. We'll let you go. It's not a commercial. Um, <clears throat> it's not a commercial. Then, what? Is there any other like? movie that you'd want to direct or oh, she um, want to know commercial like okay i got you emma. You'd okay video listen emma emma close your eyes just follow me all right gotcha. are your eyes closed yep all right the scene starts and the camera opens all right it's widescreen black and white two midgets they're mm-hmm. running they're running yep. one trips okay mm-hmm. um the other one's running mm-hmm. and it stops. And then the camera goes slow motion and then the, the camera goes, whew, pans to the side of them. One midget's like, whew, and the midget slowly turns back, looks at the other midget. The midget's like, mm-hmm. it, it turns out that they're running a race, all right? Because when the camera pans, it sees the little, the little sign with the numbers. Like if you're running a race, it has your little numbers in front. And it's like on a little piece of candy paper because they're so small and it has the numbers on it. And the midget's like, ha, like, now mm-hmm. I'm about to win, right? The little midget. And then midget's like, run. And then you can see the little line, right? It's like a little, t- uh, you know, like if you uh, floss your teeth, like if you took a line of floss, that's the line that they're about to run across to, to finish. And as um, soon as she's going to run back, she looks back and she goes and she helps the other midget get up, right? And she helps the other midget up. Yeah. And the midget's all like woozy from the fall. And then she pushes the midget back over and goes back and finishes the line and says, be great. Damn. Yeah. You really you really painted that picture. No. No, I, I just moved so from no, but I know Iowa. I just moved hmm? from Iowa to Oregon to be a film major and I mean you should really patent that because I see a lot of I see a lot of potential. Iowa. I mean, someone's gonna feel that. Have I been to Iowa? Yeah, I've been to Iowa. I'm sure I have. I've been. I feel like I've been almost every oh. state except for Alaska. But Iowa, I can't seem to put a picture to it. You except for the college. I know it's a college town. I do not recommend it. I went to Waterloo, Iowa. You ever been to Waterloo? I've Iowa? I've never heard of Waterloo. I know someone named Lou, and I, I, I've never seen anyone pour oh. water on them. Well, imagine him wet. Pause. <laughs> it's water, Lou. Lou will throws pool parties, which involves water. That's why I play. I don't know, man. You, when we get off this, you're gonna get like an email from Nike immediately. And that is either going to be them suing me because I secretly took that idea and that's what they're about to drop, mm. or them trying to hire me. I'm fucking great. Or there will not be an email in six months from now. We'll just see it run during the Olympics. Not Olympics, not in six months. In four years. Here, Emma, w- when when y- when Yanni makes the commercial, uh, will you let her? Will you let her like <clears throat> run sound on it as a film major? Well, For credits or be production doing pr- have, have some type of production credit. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends on this question. I have a question, Emma, and this, th- this question deciphers whether you would have a credit on my commercial. Mm-hmm. You with us? Yeah, I'm here. How many hot dogs could you eat in one sitting? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. You're not going to like me for this one, and I don't want to lie to you, little Yachty. Hmm. I'm a vegetarian, mm. and I know you said you're a good judge of character, and I don't want you to sniff out my lies. I can eat a vegan hot dog. I was gonna say, yachty, yachty. What if? What about? I mean, what, about can... what about? What, if she, what about veggie dogs? Would you give it to her on eating veggie dogs? So, what does that consist of? What would that be like? A Ooh. what kind of dog would that be? I think it's. I'll be honest, I've tried a veggie dog before and I threw up because it was so realistic that it reminded me of an actual hot dog that I threw up. It was not fun. It was at a music festival. No, I don't, I don't I respect recommend you. Those, I respect you 
for your good health. Wait, is that, was that why you're vegan? Are you vegan for good health? Why are you vegan? Or you're vegetarian? It's a difference. Which one? I, I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian just because, I don't know, it just started grossing me out when I was younger. And I just, I just got more picky with meat as I got older and I just like animals a lot. But also for Did the you health. believe me if also, I told you I never had a vegetable? No. Well, you were talking about relish earlier. That's kind of a vegetable. No, I've never had relish. No way. So, so where do we where do we go from here? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I can I can chow down. I don't know if you've ever had one of those burger, those uh, Impossible Burgers from Burger King. I don't really like Burger King because it's like it's not good. But they have Impossible Burgers at Burger King, which are fake meat, and honestly, those are really good. If you ever get a chance to try one of those i recommend it and i could like i could eat like three or four of those if i really tried like really hard wait how is this relevant again to it's not and basically what i was going to get at is that she wouldn't get a credit mm. yeah let her do no. lights yachty let her no. do the clamper board yeah something yachty anyone who works for me has to enjoy hot dogs <sighs> yeah. damn i'm sorry i'm Listen, so Emma. sorry Emma. Emma, I went to film school. I actually did too. You went to film school? No, you did? No. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Emma, Yadi and I went to film school. No, I, Emma, Emma, listen. Emma, Emma I was in film and broadcast three years of high school. That... I, I ran the I ran the uh, morning oh. announcements. Um, I was also on the yearbook staff. Okay. And I was well. I went to college for film and broadcast, but I dropped out in two months. So, and it wasn't a film school, but I technically was going for film and television, if it counts. I applied for a film school. That's what I'm doing. You're do, you're doing what film? I forget the thing that film and television. Film and television. What do you? What's your like ultimate? Are you going into Emma? Are you going into debt to go to film school? Emma, what do you want out of life? I, right now I'm doing editing and I really like that. And I want to be able to travel and be happy and edit and make things that make me happy. And also just edit and do cinematography because I like to make things look pretty. Um, And I've had opportunities to do like, work for people in the past that are on Twitch and YouTube and stuff. And that's been really fun, but I want to do my own stuff too. And I want to make short films and movies and yeah. Emma, how, I mean, how, how seamless could you, how seamless could you put my head on Arnold Schwarzenegger's body in Terminator 2? It's a good test. How soon? Pretty fast. How, no, how seamless. How seamless. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I could, I could, that could be my next project. I could really work on that. I've got the, I've got the stuff to do that. I've got the people to talk to, to, to make that happen. Why don't you, you make mean the whole happen. movie? You want the whole movie? Oh, the whole movie. No, no, no. I would just like the Asta La Vista baby clip. Wait, is that, is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Listen, Emma, find out whichever movie character says Hasta La Vista. Mm-hmm. Baby. Put Lil Yachty's face <laughs> onto that actor. Mm-hmm. Send, send it over, and that'll be like a, it'll be like a test. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Lil Yachty gotcha. doesn't like to tell people this, but he, even though he's not a college or an institute, he can just grant people college credits as an individual. That's actually he true. Can, it's like a spell of some kind. He just... Yeah, I can do that. Oh, damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so oh, make damn. him make him that, and then he'll grant grant you like what, forty credits, whatever you want. How many credits you want? Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. I can get you a PhD. Damn, damn, fuck Listen. it. Let's just go straight to the doctorate. I mean, Beautiful. like, hey, 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 hey. While so we're we gotta get the it. picture first. We gotta get the picture. Emma, send us the so picture. Oh no, no, it's a clip. You have to do. The oh, clip. it's a clip. Nah, yeah. and it needs to be moving. Video. Oh, you got to work on your key. Frames. I could do a Photoshop myself. Yeah, it's a little trickier when it's moving. Emma, yeah, send us, I'll, send us, work on your keyframes. I'll send that over. 
Send it over, and we'll take. But a also, I need you to print it on VHS. Oh, Yachty, come on! I gotta see. I can, I can do that. I gotta see. Come on! It's too easy to Dropbox come it to on. me. Come on, VHS. I gotta see it on VHS. Anybody can Dropbox. You give me a PO box and I'll send it over on a VHS tape. All right. Beautiful. Thank you so much for calling, Emma. God Have bless you, Emma. Thank you. That's a nice person. Have a great day. If she actually does that, you gotta let her do something. You gotta let her do something. Yeah. I don't know what, but if she actually sends over. Emma, if you send to my PO, I got my PO. Emma, if you send over my to my PO box, a VHS tape of Lou Yachty. I don't even know how. Does the technology even exist? How do you do that? How do you make a VHS? That's, that's her job to find out. We just want to see it. You do it, Emma, and we will find something for you. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see how how you how are you, how are you feeling? How's the food? I'm loving it. I'm now that I have food in my system, I am well. Good. Yeah, that looks okay. I I'm and this is not like a thing of judgment here. This is like I'm looking over at your wings and I've noticed you're leaving a lot of meat on there. Yeah. Do you do that? Do you just like take a bite? That was my first time trying honey barbecue. That's the first time trying anything with barbecue? No, honey barbecue. Oh, that's your first time trying honey barbecue? Mm -hmm. What do you think? From there, I don't think it was my favorite. So. Okay. Are they both honey barbecue? No, those are honey mild. Honey mild? Okay, what do you think of the honey milds? They're good. They're pretty good. I just, it was really yeah, those hard. are a little bit more, there's a little bit more meat off the yeah, bone. Yeah, I was trying not to make as much a mess. They're there if you want one. Maybe later. Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, okay. I, I don't like getting barbecue sauce all over my, uh, Fair. my gecko suits. Although I've, I spill a lot, I've spilled water on it a lot, but that washes out. I think water is perfectly fine. Let's see what we got here. We got a whole bunch of, Hmm. Hmm. How many times have people told you you've saved them a lot of money on car insurance? Or how much could you? I know that gets old. Never mind. Who do we have next? Carlos, how you doing? I'm good. How's it going, Lyle? It's going good, man. I'm here with um with little Yachty. We're in the sky. We're chilling. We're having um we're having a good time. Yeah. You know? This is awesome. What's up with you, Carlos? Tell us everything. Oh, sweet. Okay, well I actually came in here with a question. Hit us. And a predicament. Uh, so recently I was approached by like, it wasn't really a friend, but like an old coworker and like, I was friendly with him, cordial. Um, and he asked me to basically like meet up with him once I got back from school in New York and living out there. Um, he asked me to basically like be the creative side of his whole like business endeavor. <laughs> and he has a small team, but he has these really big ideas and they're all bulletproof and whatnot. He gives me the whole spiel. So I meet with this guy and he wants me to basically like sign a non-disclosure agreement, which I mean, I don't know if I'm breaking right now. I don't think I am. I'm not giving you details, but uh, he wants me to do all this work with no payment whatsoever, but promises me shares of his company. So it's a company that he has that basically has no money, no funding, yet I have to think about what might, like, come right, in well, the next few years, let's, you know? Let's, okay, we, let's start with this. What did he say his name was? Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, how much do you believe in this idea? Yeah. <laughs> Man, listening to him talk about it, I don't know. Like, if I was going to range it from, like, zero to 100%, I'd probably give it like a thirty-five percent chance, and that's being like. And I think right there is enough to say what we're going to do here. Now, if you believed in it, seventy-five percent and over, I would say, 
bet your bottom dollar, get you a good lawyer, make sure your contract enforces that you get a percentage in this company, you know, and you put your faith and fate first and you do the work. But if 30% is all you believe in it, Carl is my man. Okay. What are we doing? My reason for trying to like, I mean, I, I love this advice because um, I am like, I started today, started thinking about just like popping off of the project um, because it's just a ton of workload for no gain right now. And my reasoning for wanting to do it is like, I could do the work and have it for my portfolio. And uh, basically in the long run, if the company does pop off, then I'd get money down the road. Um, okay, so A, your just, portfolio, it, it, it would only it. help your, por- I'm sorry to cut you off, but it would only help your portfolio as much as it gains value. Yeah. You know, if it gains no value and goes nowhere, it, it won't really do much for your portfolio. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like if you had a degree, but it was from Therapy Gecko University, and you try to go into like a law firm in L.A., they'd be like, <laughs> "Oh, oh, okay." So I said as to say, I mean, like yeah, you but still the thing only is, believe thirty percent in yeah. the company. Go ahead, go ahead, Carlos. I was going to say, what if Therapy Gecko University over time becomes the number one university for going to go get a doctorate in psychology? Well, then, but you just I mean, don't you know because there's like well, that you know, aspect. Of- that's when you do something that I love to do, uh, more so in Vegas, but sometimes in Miami, and it's called gambling. You know, you just gotta take oh, that. Yeah. Get, you just gotta take that that, nice. that that leap of yeah, yeah. I take that leap of faith. Okay. You know? Personally, if it's some work that you can... If you like this guy, and this is some work that... I thought I would be able to put my hand up, my leg up there. I'm not that flexible. If this is something that you can do with ease, and you like this guy, I say do it. You know, I say do it. If you believe in the guy, and you th- and you can do the work with ease, and it's nothing, you do it. You know? Because it sounds like you believe some, you know? I also have a, a sort of thing of like... With something like this, like, the fact that you're unsure oh, feels sort of telling about something, right? Mm. Like, if you were, like, like if you were, like, you like wouldn't even be calling us if you were, like, convinced, right? That's true. You know? So, you know, take with that what you will. Oh, but yeah. Like, I don't know. You seem, you seem so conflicted on it that it's, like, you know, I feel like if you're going to do something like this where you're working for free in exchange for the 35% chance something's going to pop off, it's got, I mean, you got to, like, really fucking you gotta be into it you know you can't be like you're yeah. teeter t- but it seems like there's a part of him that kind of feels like it could do something because it's like what if so it's just down the line yeah do you feel like you bring a lot of value well, to this my, company my whole ad- i feel like i bring a ton of creative value to this company i mean i basically like, do you came feel up like with without you they can't do anything like the- i feel like without me it'd, it'd look like shit yeah that's not to say they would get like the whole business aspect mm. of it done, but so let me let me ask you sort of on top of that: is there a little bit of like guilt involved mm. of like I can't leave because then I'm going to let other people down? Is the, is that a factor or not? It's not so much of a guilt factor. I mean, originally, like I'm a painter, and this guy like has come to me for like projects that were also creative and so i like (laughs) he paid me for those and that was money up front so there was some support on the back end from his side yeah like yeah you know like my my whole thing with this i don't believe in it personally and i'm a good judge of like when people start talking about like their ideas and whatnot like i'll kind of be like filtering through like if they're really like on set with like their plan and every time I met up with this dude to like talk about where he sees this going and like how bulletproof his plans are, it, he's just like his idea is flaky. Like there's holes in it, it's like Swiss cheese, man. You don't. Um, this is another thing. It's like it's not just you don't believe in the idea. You don't believe in the guy. I don't think you like him at all. Yeah, I don't think you really like him. Yeah, you know, what, 
What? Oh no no no! I believe in the guy. Don't do this. Why are we even having this? No. This is like this is such a. No yeah, don't do it. I don't even know why we're, yeah. I don't even know why we're in the field of like considering this. You're yeah, like totally they, not. It's into like this. so many much more negatives than positive. Yeah, like you've listed. I mean, look. Unless if you want to make a case right now, list us a bunch of pros that maybe you haven't mentioned yet. You've listed us majoritally several negatives. Cons. Yeah, several negatives. Yeah, you're I was so not right watching about this, that. By the way, also Honestly, watching like, this, I could. <laughs> and now he's like, "Oh, this guy, like that's you know, this guy's a prick." <laughs> nah, get out of here, get yeah. out, of Carlos. Don't, 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 it's, it, it, yeah, don't do yeah, it. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do nope, it. Nope, no, Carlos. Nope. You got two no's. <sighs> Listen, Carlos, man. What? All right, I'm, Carlos, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let that's you go good. soon, but um, before you go, are you gonna do it? Are you asking me if I'm gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna ask you if you're gonna do it. Like, what do you, what do you, but before we go, what do you, no, having no. taken in everything we've said, what do you think? Okay, so, um, I've talked about this to my girlfriend before, and it was literally today, too. And so, I'm just gonna make up like an invoice of like how much it would actually cost for me to do this work. Mm, that's smart. And then I'm going to have a meeting with them because I wouldn't oh, just yeah. like drop out and I wouldn't just drop out and say like, I'm, I'm out. Like, I don't want to be a part of this. Um, and if they if they're not willing to at least pay me hourly or at least pay me like a lump sum once the project does like kick off or whatever, then I won't even consider doing it because I can't just be doing all of this work for free, like a website, logo, graphic design, all this. Yeah. Really and then quick, expect I do to like have say... payment like four years down the road. Like that just... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say you said give pay you a lump sum when it does pop off, but you could do that work and it could literally never pop off. He would agree to that because he doesn't. If he doesn't fully believe in it, you could he still get the work and you know, tell him when it never pop off. Yeah. I still say don't do it. Right, Carlos, man. Good luck to you and thank you so much for calling. It's a big what if, man. Yeah, Life's thank you so much, if. guys. This was awesome. Have a good rest of the night, man. Oh, dude, I'm gonna live by that. Thank you. Have a good one. So in, in your, and I know you kind of, you popped off really early in your like mm -hmm. rap career, but have you ever had to like, have you ever been in a position like that where like you're doing something creative or something like any kind of work, like just for the no. exposure? No. Yeah. But I feel like he's going to do it. I also, I also feel like he's going to do it. That's a fucking thing. That's a fucking thing. It's like sometimes, you know, you can, you can get a sense from someone like if like, if they come into this like asking for advice about something that they already they already make up their mind, but I here's but uh, that's my that's me being cynical. That's me being cynical. Hmm. I I I will give. I, I believe in Carlos. I want I want to be proven wrong. I, I want, want Carlos. I want to believe in Carlos, but he just seemed kind of. Damn it. I my I hope that he doesn't do it. Or well, I, I hope the man it. pays him. I hope, yeah, I hope either he doesn't do it, or maybe he does it, and then the, this, whatever we're talking about now is, like, the new whatever the fuck in five years, but I don't even know what the business the idea is in. told us nothing. I wish he could have. We could have tipped. We, we could have really told him that. I know. I know. It would have been cool if we, uh, he's got that damn NDA. Ha. Ah. No, it was smart that he didn't tell us what the thing was. Yeah, because we probably would have shitted on it. I probably would have. See who else we got going on All here. Right. Hmm. 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 Haley. Oh, yo. What's up, Haley? Um. How come much just kept in the stream and shit? Tell us everything, Haley. Damn. By the way, I was gonna ask, what is what's in there? Is that fruit punch? <laughs> That's cool. What do you? Okay, so I've, I've heard of real quick before we get into Haley. I, so I know that you have like a very specific diet, but is that extended to the world of drinks? Nope. I don't drink coffee or tea. You don't drink coffee or tea? Don't. It's actually good that you don't drink coffee because coffee stings teeth and has really bad on breath. Yeah. Yeah. I don't drink like alcohol. I've never been drunk. You, you've never been drunk before. Nope. nope. Really? Or tipsy. Man, your fucking head must be like clear as hell. I don't know. <laughs> is this? Is this? If you don't mind me asking, a sure. A male. 
Haley? Uh, so I am a male. Uh, yeah, so think more Haley Joel Osment type deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What's no, up, Haley? I don't know. I, I, you don't know Haley Joel Osment? Nope. He's the, he's the, um, he voices. Preacher. He's a preacher with the big mega church. No, he voices the main character in that video game Kingdom Hearts that you said you didn't play, so I guess you would I wouldn't. thought Joel Alston was a preacher. No, that's a different guy, I think. Joel Alston, that's not a preacher. Haley, who's, who is Haley Joel Aust- 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 Austin? I Haley said Alston. Old- Haley Joel Osman? Osman. A uh, little kid from, from the Kingdom Sixth Hearts. Sense. It's Liliati's favorite video game, Kingdom Hearts. Sixth Sense is the movie, the movie in the 90s where, help me out, what he, happens he, in the, the guy sense? sees ghosts. He sees dead people. Okay. He, I Who's see dead character? people. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. I haven't seen the movie, but I know that that's Bruce me either. Willis. Me either. I saw the trailer. Was it, was, I, I, was the trailer I've heard good? so many times. No. No. But it's because Apple oh, Movie, Apple, Apple, I, Apple TV, Apple Movie sometimes yeah. doesn't give you a trailer. It gives you like a cl- clip from the movie. Clip. And they use a really bad clip. But I've heard, I've never heard a bad thing about Sixth Sense. Ever. I really I've heard, don't. I know how it ends. I don't want to know. You know. Are you ever going to see the movie? I want to. I'm going to watch it tonight. All right, watch it tonight. But it's like, it's, it's like a known how it ends. <laughs> like the, like the movie. Hey, I don't, you know I don't, what? All right, I don't I don't want, we won't talk, right, we won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. We don't, we're not going to spoil it. What, how you doing, Haley? <laughs> yeah, tell us what's up, Haley. What's, what's, what's um? How can we help you today? Well, uh, first off, what the fuck? That's tragic. Hold on. Oh, you know I got disconnected from the host line. My my what? Him? Yeah, I got disconnected from. Damn, hold on. As a host. Welcome, host. You are now in the host room and can manage your callers from the Colin Studio web interface. You're goddamn right I can. Hello? Haley, what's up? We're, We're back. so sorry about that, Haley. Sorry about that, Haley. Uh, sorry, uh... Where, where, where were we then? You didn't we, say anything. Um, was... we, were, we were at, like, this... We were at sort of the... The baby, baby beginning of this. You were, you, you, um, we had a little yeah. bit of playful banter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now we're ready to get into the, get into the depths of, of your question, Haley. What's up? Tell us everything. So, yeah, how do you, uh, prevent like overthinking in your artistic endeavors? Like when I make music, sometimes like I can just bang out a song in the afternoon and it's like, it's great. Other times I find myself in my head and it'll take like days on end. And it's not as good. Mm. Mm, 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 my friend, my friend, this is something I know too far and too well. Well, you know, as years progressed in my career, I learned that you have to have fun. You know? Or it becomes like work. Mm-hmm. And when it feels like work, it's... You know, it, it's hard to be creative, you know, like, mm-hmm. like I can make a song in two seconds, you know, and I'll have a lot of endorsements I've done, you know, um, uh, I did a commercial for Reese's Puff and I had to make a song and, you know, when you get these yeah. stipulations or I've done a bunch of soundtrack songs, you know, when they give you a topic and a title and make you talk about certain things a little bit, it's a little bit more difficult. I'm a little bit going off track right now, but I think what I'm trying to say is you should just have fun. You know, if you feel it within and you and you and you get the vibe when you're making a song, go with that gut feeling, go with that vibe. I think you should never stick too much on something unless you love it. If you love it, get it right. But if you know if it's not moving you, keep going. And enjoy yourself. And have fun. That makes a lot of sense. No, seriously, man. You can't think too hard on it. Or it'll start feeling like work. And work fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So have fun. Music is art, it's, it's, it's expression, it's fun. Music is so fun. It's fun to listen to, it's fun to make. <clears throat> Enjoy yourself, man. That's my honest truth. No, oh, thank you, man. Yeah. What kind of music do you make, Haley? Um, so I make a... I don't, know, I don't really like to put a genre on it too hard, but like... Uh, I guess 
between hip hop, EDM, and a psychedelic drug trip? Ooh, I have to hear it. I have to hear it. You got a SoundCloud? Plug yourself. Please, Let's do it. please, I have to hear it. Um, so I'm working on some shit with a friend right now, but um, see, I got my YouTube channel that I've been posting on for a while. What's it called? And it's got a. Let's see. I just re renamed it to Barma Smile. It was Dead Smile for a while. Gosh, I, I don't know how much time uh, I have, but could you, could you maybe play something yeah, for yeah, us? Yeah, please. Could yeah, you, could you, you, you play something some, for please us? Please play it, of course. Um, let's see. I've been doing a lot of remixes lately, so... Just I want to hear something videos. more on Real your psychedelic quick. side. A psychedelic side, all right. Uh, this is your moment to this shine. This one is... Here, if you're, let me know if you're about to This one is Yen with the Yang. Real quick. Here, let me wait. Before you play, let me turn off our music. Okay, great. All right, we're good. We're ready. <clears throat> this one I made about 10 months ago. So it was still pretty recent after a bad trip I had that kind of rocked my entire world and, like, changed everything. But I don't know how well you can hear it through the speaker. You want to put it like a little You want to put your phone like a little bit closer to the speaker mm -hmm. Is that better? It's all the Can you hear anything? No. Yeah, oh, fuck. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Wait. Let's see. Yeah, it's just playing on my laptop speaker. Uh, playing on your laptop. Where is your. Are, are, are I can, we, like, are we... send in the chat. My... Yes, yeah, so fuck it. You can send it in the chat. You can send in the chat. If you send in the chat, we won't be able to listen to it on the stream. We could just listen. Sure. What? Sure. All right, cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Send, it, send it on the stream. Send, the... send it in the chat. Oh wait, is it, will it not? Will the chat not? Yeah, let it's you put the link to the specific video. Shit. Okay, here, there we go. Wait. It. So, Deathmile69. Uh, there's a YouTube link that's. The Can you hear this? Specific video I was trying to play. What you think? What did you think? You know, I think. Well, I'm, I kind of have some more questions. I know that the chat's not gonna. The chat got. We we just listened to. We just listened to it. And um, pigeon. If if anyone wants to spam it in the chat so they can listen to it too, we just listen to it. It's um, Haley. Tell me about this drug trip that you had. Maybe that would give us more. So, I don't know if you know much about dosage of acid. Yep. So this one time I took a ridiculous twenty tabs of it. Oh my Jesus! And um, I you took made it out relatively unscathed. How long did you trip yeah. for? Yeah, well, it was a double dip strip. Double um, dip trip? Oh, so, <laughs> so, wait, so the so next it wasn't day, sort of had once. Yeah, it was the equivalent. So, like ten tabs that were just double dip. Okay. Gel. Oh my God! Dipped in what? Wait, you can dip. You like, dip in LSD. What is LSD? Is it like a liquid? Yeah. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done LSD? I don't know. I'm scared to do it. I feel like I'll get too in my head, you know? Hmm. It's not about me. Go yeah. ahead, Haley. Anyways, um, back to you. How long? I just need to know, how long did this trip last? Um, so, the, well, the main part, the blackout, 
And like the psychoticness was probably about the solid duration of like a normal trip. But like the next okay. day was just like extra rainbow weed tint. But I mm. didn't know shit about trip killers yet at all. So like <laughs> I was pretty much just writing that out. So it didn't last any longer than a normal trip. Like, yeah, like the afterglow is longer, I guess. So, you know how, like, the next morning you kind of get some breakfast and things are still kind of cheerful, but, like, mm. not, like, tripping. So that was longer, basically. It just ex- mm. extended. And the peak was just, like, fucking intense. Like, I don't remember a lot of it. And I was, like, violent and shit. It was bad. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to hear about that. Did you write the? Did you make the music like, while on acid, or it was just inspired by the trip? So it sort of just so like I've been doing drugs a while, but um, <clears throat> after the trip, it was kind of hard not to. Like, I basically reset myself, so I kind of had to teach myself everything again, and kind of seep into things. Mm. Maddie, can you grab my phone? And check it. Make sure, um, you know, just check it. I'm good for sure. I just need it. All right, cool. Now, yeah. you gotta, the other, no, 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 we're good. Cool. The other one, unlock it. No. Mm-hmm. You know, Haley, look. I mean, I think you should just keep making music. Keep going. How old are you? Unlock it. Twenty-two. 22? Fucking just keep yeah. making music, man. Good to my That's what you should do. Just keep making stuff. Make t- fucking TikToks. A lot of musicians popping off on TikTok. I do have I'm a not TikTok. Gonna, I'm not going to give you advice. I know I should put my music on there. Sitting next to Yachty, but... Fucking, <laughs> make, keep, keep making music, man. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And keep uh-huh. taking uh-huh. acid. Uh-huh. So yeah, I'm... get you into the zone. Actually, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, sure not I'm not going to take that much ever again, actually. Yeah, don't do that. Lately, I've been doing Yopo, but... Take What's a healthy that? amount. But what is that? Just it's like a seed. It's got three types of tryptamines in it. So it's got DDMT, but mostly what's in there is bufotenine. Sort of the same thing in Licking Toad. It's like a shorter trip. It's like licking a toad. Yeah, it's like the same chemicals. Okay. Well, hey, maybe there's a song there. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Have you ever done DMT? Uh, not yet. That might be one of my next projects. I might try to extract it. I'm not sure. Hmm. A- any other musical advice? Like, I do want to do it. Now? Well, Haley, listen, man. Thank you so much for calling in, and um, best of luck to you. Uh, Thank you for having me on. Of course, man. Take care. All right. Oh, by the way, I love your shit with fucking Oliver Tree. That was dope. Well, yeah. Thank you. I just I was in the studio with Oliver Tree about five days ago. We did a new song that I genuinely love. I think it's one of the best songs I've ever created it's a pop song and i love 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 it so be on the lookout can't wait take care Haley. all right peace is it safe well yeah go for it hit us what did you think about that <laughs> about this song? i mean look i mean i mean what i said you know i'm not out here to like like I'm like I'm I'm always I'm always trying to be encouraging because here's the thing and I genuinely believe I genuinely believe this it's like just keep making stuff like like even if like you know it's not like a like music that I would fuck with right now it's like who who it, like because here's the thing I don't want to I would I would never tell this person like you know your music trash I would never say something like that because it's like you because because you, you just keep making things and you'll evolve you'll make new things like like only bad only nothing comes. From like, you know, discouraging someone to like not make things, you know. 
You, only positives can come from fucking encouraging people. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm an encouraging guy. What do you think? You seem like you, you seem like you got a lot on your mind. <laughs> Not the next caller. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's get... Let's get Eli. Eli, is that you? Hello. How are you doing, Eli? Eli. I'm doing... I'm, I'm doing good. Okay. Talk um, to us. The floor is yours. It's always good to be good. It is. It is. It's always a good day to be a good guy. That's what I say. It's always a good day to wake up. Isn't it amazing that we have... So you ever just feel like, I have hands. Yeah. I am happy that I wake up and I have two hands. It's amazing. That's that not, not everyone has two hands. Mm-hmm. We have that, two hands. And that goes into what we were talking about when you said, like, you're always happy and, like, you know, it's like that plays a part. It's like I have, yeah. two, I have two hands. Yeah. Everyone doesn't have two hands. Not everyone has two hands. Or two you know something crazy? Like, what? Do you not have two hands? Oh, shit. You have, more, you have more hands than the average person. Ooh. Think about it. Wow. Is that a fact? No, it makes sense because think about it, like... The like the average amount of hand like if you say because I, I see what you're saying here, Eli. If you take into account, like you know, the average is like the sum of everything divided by. If you took the average amount of hands of all seven billion people on the planet divided by seven billion, the number would not be two. It would be like uh, one point nine 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 because of like the small. Yeah. You get uh, what I'm saying? No, no I'm not following you. It's the math. Like, okay, what's like, what, like, two plus 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 one divided by the amount of times you add it up, the number would be like 1.999999. Math wasn't really my thing, so you're losing me. But what I do know is that we can't go based off of seven billion people. We have to go off how many people have two hands and have one. You know? We can't just say all seven billion people. Oh, I'm lost. No, no, it's you know, you know, you know. Okay, I know you say you know, but you, you know how like averages work and shit. Sure. What's your question, Elon? <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. I'm somewhat unprepared, but That's I okay. there is stuff going on. I um, I just recently. Like, actually, a few days ago, uh, dropped out of high school my mm. senior year. Wow. And now, you like Finish. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go after you. <clears throat> um, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I think I need somebody to talk to about it because it's fresh on my mind and got my whole life ahead of me. You came to the right place, Eli. I graduated high school six years ago. 2015. Max's girlfriend dropped out of high school. Um, Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people dropped out of high school. Uh, Can I ask you why? If you you care to... Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Um, Well, I've... I've struggled with depression, anxiety. Um, I've had issues with suicidal thoughts and, you know, my uh, suicidal mindset since I was in, like, my freshman year. And I feel like school dug that hole even deeper. And so I think I just Um, need to... I'll take my GED, that kind of thing. Well, Eli... What what do you what what do you where do you see your future? What does you want to do with life? And it's okay if you don't know. I want to be a out. father. That's beautiful. Is is that is that all? Um. Well, I'm. I think I want to go into a psychology field. I don't know what that'll be. Whether it's social services or 
you know, helping kids, helping the elderly, or even like criminal psychology is always interesting. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I have so many questions. I don't want to talk your ear off. What do you What do you value most out of life? Um, Eli? I don't know. That's a That's a hard question. I don't, I don't mean to bombard you. Well, okay. You want to be a father. Yeah. So what value? Uh, so like, well, no. So like, what values come yeah. with that? Well, I have a question, but I can't ask it until I get I gather certain information. So, okay, psychology, so father. What else? Like, well, not what else, but what do you value out of life? So when I with well, that question, I mean, like, like if you ask me, what do I value out of life? I value being mm-hmm. able to provide for my family. I value being able to enjoy the life I I want to live, not a life that I have to live to uh, meet to meet needs. Mm-hmm. I value um, friendship. I value um, I value I value my mother's happiness a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, like more than my like, damn near. Anything, yeah, that's a big one. You know? um, and um. I, I I I I value, you know. I value money, you know. I, I I not on a pedestal of, gimme 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 gimme, but I do value, you know. Um, you know the idea of, you work, you get paid, you know. Or if you, you know, if you find a way to, yeah. you know, supply and demand. So like, I enjoy a comfortable life. Yeah. But I know a lot of people that I know a lot of people that. You know, are money hungry and all the people that don't think two thoughts about money. I know a lot of people say that and are lying, you know. So I'm just curious because, you know, I need you to understand, you know. Well, I wanted to know what it is you want out of life and where it is you want to go because certain things, you know, don't you like you don't need. I need you to understand you don't need a high school diploma to succeed in life. You know, that's and I don't want you to yeah. ever feel like because you dropped out that your life is finished over or or that you can that you have a ceiling you know because you can still do anything that you want to do in life you know whether it be be a father be a you know psychologist or therapist or whatever it is you want to do you can still do it you know um and more um that's why i was asking you know what it is you value what it is you want what it is that you care about achieving or or approaching in life um just to let you know that regardless of whatever those things are, the majority of them can still be met. Some things like you can't be a doctor, you know, or 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 a surgeon, or I don't know about being a lawyer, but you know all those high high field those fields. Shit, saying, you wouldn't want to do it. Anyway. Yeah, you don't want to go down those lanes. So, I mean, the point we're getting yeah. at is basically, you know, I don't want you to feel like there's a ceiling to life. You know, there's there, you can still do mm-hmm. anything and come out on top. You could have dropped out and come out on top and three, four years from now, make more money than everyone you went to school with. If you if you want to, if that's what matters to you, some people it doesn't matter to you. you know, it's whatever you want out of life. That's why I was curious as to what do you want out of life? But if you, you're young, you know, so if you don't know, then that's completely fine. You have nothing but time. But time also does not wait on. Well, anyone. I think what you said was. What you said was really helpful, and I think I, I think I do know the answer to your question. I just, mm-hmm. but it, I guess it just in total would be improving the, the quality of every other people's lives. Mm. You know, whether it be my kids in the future, or my mom, one hundred percent. Well, you know, I know for a fact that you make a great father. A hundred percent. And I know I don't know you, and we haven't met, but just based off this conversation, I can tell that you're a really good guy. <clears throat> and it um, it it's really unfortunate that you have these thoughts, you know, or or you're dealing with these emotions because I can tell you're a very positive guy, you know, and no one deserves to deal with those emotions. Although you know we are we're all human. 
We are life gets tough,、mm-hmm. but there's always a bigger and brighter picture. And you gotta look at it like this: there's no way you'll be yeah, able to be a、I、father think... if you pull the game court. Exactly.、Um, and that's the goal out for you. Gave me a sense of hope, I guess, because、mm. that's great. Like you know, that. I, I yeah, re- yeah. lately I've realized. Having a diploma doesn't change a thing, and、nope. you know I want to、no. go backpacking. I want to, yeah, I want to、okay, do all these know, things. Okay, we know. Okay, you value you value travel,、yep. you value adventure, you value experiences. Yep, yep. We know that about. I want to explore. Do you have a license? Uh, I'm actually. I'm actually like very close to getting it. I haven't gotten、okay. it yet because COVID. You know, you stay inside. Don't really have、mm-hmm. a reason to go out and get it. But now that、you、I have, have all this free、travel. time, <laughs> Eli, I need you to promise、yeah. me you're going to get your license. I I can promise you that I I will. I'm. I was actually studying. Last night and earlier this morning, and I passed the practice one. So、yeah. awesome. there you go. All I gotta do、Once、is you get that license, do it. man. You get that license, you get yourself a vehicle to your name of your own. No one can stop you from travel. You can go、mm-hmm. see the whole country. That's free at will. Exactly. Only thing is, these things take money. You know. So with that being said, you have you do have to find a, a something to to meet your means of living. You know, whatever you choose that to be, preferably legal, you have to find something that suits you to be able to make that living, so that you can comfortably live whatever life you choose to live. And if you want to be a father, you have to take care of another human being. So you know, it, it takes a lot to when you bring another life into this world. That's 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 right there. That's a lot of responsibility. So if you're bold enough to bring another life, because that child didn't ask to be here, so if you're going to bring that child into this life,、mm-hmm. you have to be man enough to take on those responsibilities and be able to a take care of that child, b be there emotionally, physically, and and financially for that child. You get what I'm saying? Which means you have to find yourself an occupation、yeah. that brings in. Funds so that you can give that child the best life that they so rightfully deserve, which I know you're gonna do. Yeah, that's all I want to do. It's fantastic. Damn man, I'm I'm with you on all that. I especially all the stuff about like. You know, don't like, like, fuck, man. Like, society is always like trying to tell us the things that matter and don't matter, and you gotta, and like, you know, like, you gotta shove that shit out the window and decide for yourself what matters and doesn't matter. You know, those values and you chase that shit. That's it. So, like,、yeah. you know, don't don't let don't let dropping out of high school like de- fucking define you. You know, exactly what fucking Yandi's saying, dude. Yeah, pick your, pick your values and let those define you and chase those, man. I, you know, I second fucking everything you said, man. Because it's your life, you know. Like your principal doesn't live after four years. You never see that person again. I have not seen my principal ever again. You know, even I go back up to school. I don't think、mm-hmm. she works there anymore. It's so it's no one's life. None of those teachers work there anymore. It's been well, it's been seven, eight years since I've dropped, graduated. Seven years since I graduated high school. Six, whatever. Point I'm making is none of those people are there anymore. You know, like. So why would you live for them? You know, I don't see any of those kids anymore yeah, except a handful that are my friends. Conditions you. It does. You know, it conditions. It, you know, you know it the school you system can it conditions you. you. But do you know the school system can conditions conditions you to live a medio mediocre life? You know, like 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 it's it's not conditioned for yeah, you to become like, like rich or successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like teaching you to go to college and get a get a fucking loan and like it's not teach it's not setting you up to like become a fucking millionaire. They're not teaching you how to you know create generational wealth. They're just teaching you literally how to like because I read somewhere where it was started to keep you know people like in fucking. You know, like、um, uh, who work in like mines and like factories and shit. You know? Yeah, so they train you with the bell. That's what、mm-hmm. I heard. Man, fuck all that shit. 
And by the way, it's not even like a money thing because like to tra- ultimately to travel like like yes, it costs money, but it th- you don't have to be like rich. No, 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 no. I don't want that to come off as what I was talking about. But you need gas. Yeah, yeah. Of and course. you and I mean, I mean you can definitely camp. So I mean, if you if you're backpacking, you can backpack. But you definitely need gas, and you'll need. Uh, I mean, depending on how skilled you are with your hands, I guess you can hunt. Good hunt. But it's hunting. Le- hunting's not legal, right? I mean, it's certain times. They well, they don't look. They don't teach it in high school. There's a lot of prerequisites to that. To hunting. Sounds like you're not into the hunting idea. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have like a license. You gotta hunt certain things with certain, certain guns. Certain times of the month. It's a lot. I want like a. I want like a like a brief little like. Like an action plan of some kind for you, man. Like, like, you know, I fucking loved everything that you, that fucking Yadi just said. Like, is there anything that? And we've sort of explored some of your values: adventure, family is important to you. Like, is there any sort of like action you can map to that after? Because that's that's the thing, right? It's like, right, you define what values you, what you find, you define what you value, and then you map your actions towards that. One hundred percent. Is there anything that you can think of that like? You can just like that. You want to do next, you know. That'll let first. guide you. Yeah, yeah. That'll guide you as you as you move forward. Anything, um, else, even if it's something fucking small. Like getting your license is, is is a great example. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get my license, and that's something my mom said that is really simple, but it it's made me think is to just write down what I want to do, like the tiniest things. If I want to go bowling, write down I want to go bowling, and then you just have it. You read it and remind yourself. And Manifestation. Just write down every little thought. Manifesting. Um, mm-hmm. Are you good at bowling? Uh, <laughs> no, but I like it. It's fun. Man, bowling is so fun. I think I'm going to go bowling with my friends. Go with your oh, friends. Yeah. And, I may, I yeah. may get a, go to a bowling alley or something. Bowling is so fun when you're with your friends. I have been bowling in forever. Really? Yeah. It's so fun. I have the craziest wedgie. I've been holding it. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. this stuff. It, it, no, yeah. It's, it's half bad. of the costume is up my ass. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's been like my right testicle is like hurting. I hope I, I hope you I even feel like you couldn't do that. Like, you know, I don't want you like holding it in like for us, you know. I know that now. Yeah. No, it's yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Sure. Have you always been a gecko? Is this like your first time coming out of your shell and this is your true form? That's a really good question. You know, I would like to say that I have been wanting and very curious of exploring the options of geckology and I like to say Lyle was very open he welcomed me with uh, open arms and warmness to uh, this life of geckology and I do say that I don't think I would ever go back I am very thankful and grateful I don't know if I answered this question. If I ever get the opportunity, I think you did. I, I would okay. get in a gecko suit and get full gecko. Dude, do it, do it, man. Be, go full, go full gek. Like you'll be in like, it'll connect us all in a spiritual sort of manner. I'll feel that. Triangulate. Exactly. Dude, um, we wish you the best, man. Seriously, and I appreciate you for calling in. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, dude. Thanks Eli. so much for calling, Eli, man. Surprised, but yeah. Dude, we wish you the good best to, of luck. Good and, to talk uh, to you guys. Explore life. Explore life. Have a good rest of the night, Eli. Thank you, man. I, I will do that. You too. See ya. Hey, how much juice is in your cup? How much juice is in your cup? Huh? You got lemonade? She got Coke. Do you not fuck with Coke? I like Coke, but I just, I just thought it was more fruit punch. 
No. No. This fruit punch is so good. It's like, what kind of fruit punch is it? High C? Like Kool-Aid Hawaiian fruit punch. punch? No, it's like a Kool Aid. It's like a, a Kool Aid fruit punch. Cool. I have never seen. Is it like actual Kool Aid? Because I've never seen Kool Aid in a uh, fucking fountain soda. <laughs> this is Atlanta. They have fucking Kool Aid in the fountains? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta give me some of that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I want to. I loved everything you said, by the way. I'm like so. I really. Because I, I'm, I'm really big on that. Like, I hate the idea that, like, fucking we get told like how important certain things are and i get it they are like you know obviously he can't become a doctor but like fuck i really want that guy to know like just because you fucking dropped out of high school like that doesn't fucking like, well i dropped fine. out of college i, I dropped out of college so you know it's yeah. i mean I, I got my high school diploma but it's not that far off you know my mom was devastated when i dropped out and she thought i would be a failure and mm-hmm. you know she thought that I wasn't gonna do anything with life and she cried and cried and she just oh no you know what you're gonna do with your yeah. life Oh, yeah, you know, because my mom grew up, college was the way. Like, when she grew up, it was like, you go to college, get a diploma. That's the way of life. You know, that's all she knew. So when I didn't do it, she was, you know, terrified. And I I assume that is not the, I assume that feeling has since waned. Oh, yeah. Does that feel good, like? Like proving that whole I mean, thing wrong. It's been, it's been like six years now, so I mean, it's it's life now. But at the time, oh yeah, yeah. But I also was happy to be able to prove her and let her know, like, hey, I'm I made the right decisions, yeah. and you raised me well. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, and also it's like, and you know, I mean, and you became you know this this ultra ultra successful guy. But I mean, oh. even like, I mean, fuck, even if you just want to like do like what that guy's talking about, like just traveling around. And like living an alternative lifestyle, like you know, there's, there's there's just like so many different ways to fucking live life. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. How how are you feeling, Yadi? You you down to? Keep... I I love it. Let's keep going, man. We got we got a whole bunch of people on here. Let's see. Who do we like? Yeah. Who do we like? <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. M Dog. What do you think it tastes like if you put these wings in that microwave? Hello? No, don't do it. Hello? Can I have your Coke? Hey, this is Ryan. Hey, Riley from Los Angeles. Yes, sir. Nice and sunny today. Did you, just ta- did you just take her Coke? This is this is a swig of Coke. This is like a slurp of Coke. It's a little bit of Coke. That was nice of you to, to give your last little drop to him, though. Water Coke. She's sweet. Is it Coke or Diet Coke? It was water. It was water? That, that's Because the fucking ice melts down yep. and water's down the Coke. I'm thankful regardless. Always thankful. Always yeah. blessed. Yeah. I love that. Riley from Los Angeles. Riley, what's up? Tell us everything. Tell us. Hey, how's it going? Man, we're good. We're good oh, now that okay. you're here. Well, I I came with a question. I came with a question that's a little West bit different. Us. I love the answers of last the last question. By the way, it was some knowledge bombs from both. But I came with something a little different. I wanted to know if little Yadi, if you believed in ghosts, and if so, you had any ghost stories. And I think Lyle, you've talked about this before, but you too. Wow, can I please hear about that? Oh, oh, well, when I think when I talked about it, it's like I don't believe in ghosts at all. Okay, I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm a skeptic for. I'm not, I don't like. I don't like attaching a label <clears throat> to not believing in ghosts. I don't have to be like, oh, I'm a skeptic, but I, I don't believe in ghosts. No. Okay. I don't know. Have you, do you, I, have per- you any I personally have. Se- I, I have. I've had an experience, and I was also skeptic until I saw one myself, and that's why I was asking because I was curious if. Gotti had any experiences or what his thoughts were on ghosts? No, no. I had this friend growing up who had this house that he swore was haunted. I never saw anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the South is different too. Like, yeah, I don't deem it out, but I haven't experienced it. So you don't believe in spirits? I used to say like I also used to be like I'm open to it. I'm not even open to it anymore. <laughs> I used to like like a, like like I went on a ghost hunt like a little like one of those like ghost adventure kind hmm. of things. Okay. And I went in there and I was like I don't believe in this but like I'm open to it. Was it fun? 
it was fun, but at the end of it, I was like, mm. like, like the people I was with, they would like, like, the, the, like I was with a guy and he would like stand in a corner. Mm. Uh, well, okay, so I explored this haunted hotel, and the, this tour guide, was a very nice dude, um, was like would like stand in the corner of a ro- of like a hotel room that he was like got us through, and he would like sit in a t- chair, and he would be like, I feel a presence. And then, I, and then I would, and then I would be like, "Hey, can I sit there? I want to." You know, and he was like, "Yeah, come sit here." And I would sit here, and I, tr- I, I swear, I give it a good, like, open-minded try. Yeah, the feel the present. Goddamn nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. That's hilarious. I don't know. So I'm not even open to it anymore. I'm, I'm fully closed to the spirits, and maybe I'll, I'm going to. Maybe they'll haunt me. I want them to haunt me. I want to see it. I want to see some books fall off of the shelves or whatever the fuck. But. So what about you? Have you had anything? I've never seen anything, but I'm still not against it. I'm not against it at all. Riley, tell us your story about how, because I, I want to hear you were a skeptic and you since changed. How did that? How did that go down for you? Yeah, sure. So it was a long time ago, back in middle school, and I lived in Tennessee at the time. And down south, there's all these old ghost stories and old war trails and all this crazy shit that you're told as a kid so um growing up i I was a skeptic but also like like you guys i was like i don't i mean if i see something that's unexplainable why not sort of thing uh so me and my friends were playing in the woods one day as we did as kids and we saw this girl that was probably a middle school age in all black and it looked like old victorian dress attire kind of weird and old looking dressed and she was walking down this trail that no one went down other than our friends that played in the woods. So we kind of watched and we were weirded out and followed her from a distance to see where she was going through this trail. And she walked across the street and the school bus seemed like it didn't even see her and almost hit her and drove by and that creeped us out. So we kept following and following. Um, and she followed this trail all the way to the middle of this bridge and stopped and then looked our way and we both ducked down in the woods and the leaves freaked out. Uh, And when we looked up, there was no one there. And obviously it freaked us out and we went and looked all around to see if there was any sign of her and nothing was there. So to this day, it still freaks me out a little bit. Um, I just, I don't know. After that, I was kind of like, okay, maybe there is something else out there. What, 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 What was that look? It just, it sounds very, like, movie-like. Sure. I would love to experience something like that. I'm open to, yeah, it's cool. No. It makes you feel like you're, like, in a waking dream or something. Only thing about it is then everyone else looks at you like you're fucking crazy. Like you just did the hit. <laughs> So who knows? Maybe uh, I was about to say that's the thing. It was a true story, completely real. But telling it now, even looking back on it, it sounds made up or like it was like a crazy thing. But talk to my friend, and he has the exact same story. So it's pretty weird. Have you since encountered anything else similar, close or nearby? Not ghost related. Um, no, I. I mean, I've. Obviously, there's always like spooky stuff that happens and you're like, what was that? And I'm a big believer in something out there like aliens or UFOs um, or that sort of such. But I've never had any personal experience. No. 100%. So you guys guys believe in aliens? Oh, 100%. This universe is too big. Yeah, I'll I'll buy that. But not like, I don't don't know if green green creatures. Not like, not like, not like, I don't think like it's guys like us. I think, I think it's people like us. Possibly. Oh no! I meant like like little green creatures. No, I feel, I feel like it's it's humans, probably just no, like. No, I us. mean like like us right now. Never mind. I mean, we could be that for someone else right now, and they're talking in human suits about people that look like that are aliens on a different planet. First off, we're geckos, so. You know, I get confused. It's like a lot of things. People tell me I look like this is kind of a tangent, but people say I look like a frog or a turtle or a pea, or or like Yoshi or some. But I feel like we, if we look like anything, it's aliens. Hmm. Like like the little alien. Yeah. You see that? That's yeah. why. I was, that's why I said I feel like I don't believe in like alien green looking 
stuff. But I believe in, I believe that like if they're were aliens, they're like fucking boring. They're like little like microscopic organisms or some shit like that. Really? Yeah, like like amoebas or whatever. Really? Yeah. I was uh, I always believe more so futuramic ish. Okay. You know, like all different types of walks of life where humans is walking vending machines is tentacles. I pray I live to see that crossover. Riley, you ever you ever seen any aliens? You ever seen any UFOs? You ever seen any tentacles? No, no, I wish. I I would say though after psychedelics I believe that something else is out there and it's a lot more believable once you I, I, after the last other guest said, it's like once you've explored that other side or seen something else outside of yourself, it's hard to not believe there's something else out there, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. What's his name again? Riley. Riley. Thank you for calling. Yes. Riley. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I think I, I think I was Thank you. Go. Thanks, guys. This has been a blast. I think I, I was going to go where you were going. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling, Riley. You have a good rest of the night. Thanks, guys. In the call screener notes, in the notes of the screener person, mm-hmm. they wrote, Riley seems cool, normal, and talkative. <laughs> I think that was accurate. I think he seemed like a normal guy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I want to believe his story so bad. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying so is cool. I would like to, but I I feel that way about like um, sort of religion too. In mm. way of like of like I'd like for there to be something, but if you believe something, you can't like force yourself to not believe it. If you believe something, you can't. Force oh, if you yourself. don't believe something, you can't force yourself right. to believe it. Right. Right, no, that's what be be, nice. that's what belief is. Yeah, it, it has to. You can't just someone can like, make you a believer, it. though. Has that, did, did someone? Are you a believer? I was born into the church. Okay. My grandmother's been in it forty years. She retires in December. Okay. So it's kind of like, like most people, religion is kind of forced on you. Did you Did you feel like it was forced on you? I mean, I didn't really. I was just. I just felt like it was the way of life. Okay. Is it, yeah. is it still a way of life for you? Most of the time, it's it gets really tricky. I was, I, it's it's really tricky. We'd be talking for like literally hours. Okay, because so. well, well, I was gonna, and this doesn't have to be a super long conversation, but I'm very curious uh-huh. because you say all the, you say like I'm blessed, mm-hmm. and like I, I don't, and I actually think like I I I believe that you can say I'm blessed without it necessarily having to have like a very like religious. You don't have to be like I when you say I'm blessed. You don't have to necessarily mean like. There is a God who has directly blessed me. But it can just mean like in a general like Man, bro, you know, I think it, it gets really tricky. You know, I like to keep the I like to keep it very simple and just give it all to God. Yeah. You know, because if you like if you sit and you try and break it down and then go try and break down the Bible and what's real and what's not, then it just it leaves your brain to go all over the place. Um, you know, I don't think you have to believe in all the other stuff, you know, like, oh, paying ties to a church and, and all the books in the Bible to believe in a God, Mm -hmm. you know, if, if you, if you have children, are you going to raise the religious? You thought about that? No, I didn't. I'm Jewish. Hmm. And, um, the only reason, I don't think I would raise my children, like I, I might, I would give them like a, I would do it very casually, maybe like like you can have a bar mitzvah. You ever go to? You ever been to a bar mitzvah? I performed at one. You performed at a bar mitzvah. One, I How performed at one, and I am so I got paid to do one. Yeah. Didn't know the kid. Okay. And I am to this day still friends with that kid. Oh, that's that's sweet. Yeah. That's cool. Was he a cool kid? That he was. That was thirteen. Most thirteen-year-olds are terrible people. He would. He started his first year at Duke this year. So I'm guessing now he's 18. That's awesome. Love him. I love that kid. That's awesome. I haven't met many Jewish people that weren't really amazing people. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. Shouts out to Drew. I love you, Drew. And Jamie. I love you both. Let's take a phone call here. Hmm. 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 Oh, my God. They're so... Let's talk to. Let's talk to. 
<laughs> Let's talk to. Okay, they get they they put they gave a our, okay, Range Rover sports truck from Louisiana. Mm. It's a song I'm out last night. Oh, yeah. What's up, Range Rover sports truck? What's going on? Range doing, Rover man? sports truck. Range Rover sports truck. Range Rover sports truck. Hello. Shout out Baylor Levine one time. Two times. Oh yeah. Two times. Okay, I see. You. What? What's up? What's up? What's? Well, how can we help you today, Range Rover? What's the What's the acronym for that? R R S T. Okay. Rust. 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 What's up, Rust? How can we help you? Man, what's up? Okay, I was curious. I want to know what Lyle's favorite Yachty song is. And you cannot say Range Rover Sports Truck. We should play Range Rover Sports Truck for you. I listen to Range Rover. Is it a new one? Yeah. Please do. It's newer. It's on my last album. When I was in college, I fucked. I, I was really into Broccoli. Hmm. I fucked with that. Oh, you're, not, you're young. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm your age. Really? Yeah. Nice. I fucked with Broccoli. Did you finish college? I did. That's dope. What did you get a diploma in? Uh, film and media arts. Really? Yeah. So I was. That's why I was talking to Emma about all that stuff because I'm like, I went to film school. What did you want to do? Uh. Or are you doing what you want to do? I, I don't. I know. I never. I never. I, well, when I went to college, I wasn't like, this is just, this is gonna get me to the path where I'm a gecko, but. Right. This I, I like doing this because like, well, before I was like doing stand up and making like sketches and stuff but I like this because this is more like like when you have with the, like, like when you like write shit or like mm-hmm. film like it's a, you're doing it alone mm-hmm. and when you're editing shit you're doing it alone mm-hmm. this is cool because i'm like it's 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 fun to do everything you're doing in the moment yeah you know but i like brock i like minnesota mm. i wrote minnesota in my dorm you wrote minnesota in your dorm alabama state yep on a sheet of paper and a, on a composition notebook yeah, and that, those are the only two songs that I know. So when I did broccoli, I went and um, I, I met Drum, and he was in this little small studio in LA. And I did the verse first. We got there, and the guys were there, and they were making the beat, and they made the beat. And I did my verse because my verse is first. So I did my verse, and then I left. I had somewhere to go. Yeah. And so I never had heard the hook. So people always ask me like. Cause I don't eat vegetables. I say you don't eat broccoli. And I don't smoke weed. So yeah, I was, say, like, I was thinking that too. When I because when I heard you say that you don't smoke weed, I was like but broccoli. That's yeah, like, yeah. So that that came after my verse. Interesting. Yeah, yep. Yeah, because I, I I I don't smoke or or eat. I don't eat broccoli. and Never have. So people always ask me how come you don't you know why you make a song, but I did that verse before that hook came. So. That's just to clear that. I cleared that a bunch like, of times. Like if you though. if you went on like fucking rap genius, or, is there anything in the verse that is like about weed? Nope. That's a fun fact. Art art wrist wrist. Mm-hmm. What's your What's your favorite one of my songs? What's a fun fact? Mm. Uh, my favorite clip. I haven't listened to your discography. My favorite clip. <laughs> It's between, it's between the Taco Bell one, and it's two Taco Bell ones. So I'm gonna make sure I'm, the, the, the management one. You know when he was talking about fighting this manager across the streets. Between that one, I really enjoy the the, the Xbox controller one for some reason. Oh hell yeah, dude, that's cool. Yeah, it was just really random. You know, it was really random to look at. If I had one here, we could. Nah, I wouldn't do it. But it was cool to see you do it. But um, I also really I. I think the one that made me laugh the most was when the bill collector one called in, God and he damn. just had nothing to say. Oh, oh I thought you were gonna say the. Uh, I thought you were gonna say the red, the fucking one where the guy tells me to paint my face red. Oh, as a tongue. Yeah, that's what they're. Oh, yeah, the guy with the uh, extended warranty thing. People in the comments of that think that the, like that guy was just doing a bit. People in the comments think that the, that was like an actual call. Oh, that's hilarious. From one of those people. That's hilarious. That makes it even funnier. I don't think I thought that, but it was just funny. I don't think I think that, that deep funny, into interpretation. True. I think I just kind of like, just, however it hits me, pause, I laugh. Deep. Yeah. But mm-hmm. some that people was are. Cute, us telling each other our favorite things. Yeah, yeah. Like Th- thank you, Rust. 
for that moment. Yeah, that was a nice moment. Miles. Whoa. I just I just saw you fucking tweet that you don't like when people do that. Yeah. <laughs> <And I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, Miles. Also, I the way you the way you the way you, you the way you just said it was like he says if he you said he that. said it was if it was like private information. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> As if no one would know what that is and only I it would click in my brain and I was like, <laughs> hmm. you were like, how did you right. find I got your attention yeah. from Nam? Yeah. Well, you, you you kind of had it since you, you got on Russ. I appreciate that. Anyways, I wanted to ask what you were thinking whenever you recorded Yeah, Yeah on Summer Songs 2. That song is kind of crazy. Do you yeah, ever think yeah. about that song anymore? No, I don't. But I was a kid, so I was 19 years old. Okay. And I was so fresh in the fame. Well, my second mixtape. And I remember the session. I remember it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was at QC Studios. It was me and Burberry Perry. And we were alone with this engineer, and we were, he made the beat. And I made a song about a girl, but back then I used to write music just however the beat made me feel, you know. So the story wasn't really yeah. authentic. It wasn't like I was really, my heart was really broken or something. I just kind of have the beat made me feel. I, I just that's how the words came out. So I wasn't like heartbroken um, when I was actually making that song. But I, uh, it's a good song. I haven't heard it in years, a couple of years. I'm going to listen to it after this. So. You're a real fan. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's not I a fake am. fan. Hey, what's my real name? Uh, Lyle. The Gek. How do you know all this stuff? Mm. I watch your streams every now and then. We have mutual You're a real fans. funny guy. We have mutual fans. It's cool. What's your real name, Rust? Yeah, yeah. I I didn't realize we don't know your real name. I'm Nate Pro. What? Hmm? Nate Pro. Nate Pro. Don't fuck with us, RT. Yeah. You know what, RTS? We have been, we have been very genuine over the course of this phone call. We have mm -hmm. not fucked around. And we've authentic. Answered, we've been authentic. We've answered mm -hmm. your questions. Mm -hmm. We didn't fuck with you. We answered your questions hey. genuinely, and we demand we no, not even demand. It's just not even we demand. We don't need it from you. But it's like you know, look, <laughs> cosmically, cosmically, you know, I, th I think it'd be the right thing to do. It'd be, right, it'd be the right thing to do if yep. you just tell us, told us your real name. Yep. I am not lying when I say I'm Navy Pearl. Y'all can y'all can look me up, but uh, you can't Google my actual name. My name is Nathan. Are we friends Nathan. now? Can I be friends with Lil Yachty and the Gek? Your shot. Do you promise to never lie to us ever again? I'm cool with it all. Nah, I do. I think you promise. All right, we'll think about it. We'll get back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nathan. You have a good rest of the night. Hey, y'all too. Y'all made my day. That was sweet at the end. Mm-hmm. So do you do you um I saw I saw you tweet that you're like I don't like when people call me by my first name. I hate name. it. So did that and you don't have to talk about this if it's like a private thing, but like did that like was that was that tweet prompted by something? Like someone did did that to you? you still people like do it all the time. I got in public. Really? Do you do you, do you think they're doing it because they think you feel the opposite of how you actually feel? They feel like you'll feel no cl closer with them. I don't know. I never thought about it. I just hate it. My, do, you, do you not like your real name? I love it, but, but it's a, like reserved. It's separated. Yeah, I don't. Separate, I don't. I don't really mix my business and my personal life. R. Miles and Lil Yachty, mm -hmm. different people. A hundred percent. Really? Yeah. Is Lil Yachty a version? Uh, uh, like how? Like how different? I would assume he's maybe like, you know, the. A superstar, you know, he's a superstar, you know. So yeah. like, you can't be a superstar at all times. Some rappers try to be, but you have to have balance in your life. Of course. You know? So like I can't be at the dinner table on Thanksgiving with my grandmother wearing a hundred chains and diamond teeth. Yeah. You know? So, um 
try to have balance you yeah. know now as far as morals and ethics same person yeah you know um belief same person you know but it's just like you know one is a character yeah you know yeah. Do you, do you feel like, um, is Liliati like a, like, is it an intentional, like, character of some kind? Like, are you very, like, did, you, did, just, did you form your, like, persona <clears throat> intentionally? I think it's just a dream, you yeah. know? Um, I feel like it formed itself. Yeah. You know, yeah. before I blew up, I didn't, I didn't always have this uh, idealization of being a positive artist or um, having this outlook on life. It kind of just happened. I, like I smoked that. in high school. You smoked weed in high school? Mm-hmm. And you gave it up? Yeah, I didn't like how it made me feel. I, I told myself if I ever get famous, I'll start smoking again. Really? That Got famous and I was like, oh, I'm really too paranoid. That's cool though, man. Like, I don't know, it's just cool. It's cool to like, because when, when you're a guy and you have like a, oh, the belt of memory is full. Oh, Kevin, man, could we, oh no, we're good. We're good. Okay, I went away. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? Um, <clears throat> No, it's cool when you're like a guy of your influence, but like you, you don't because that you like make not drinking and not smoking like look cool in a weird way, you know, whereas like traditionally it's like, oh, you're making drinking, smoking look cool. Well, you know, you know, I never I never ever wanted to like I wasn't the kind of guy saying don't do it. I just no, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't think know? you are. I don't yeah. think you are. No, I've never heard you be like. But I think a lot of people took me for that type of person. That's so so different. Yeah, you know, like I wasn't running dare ads. No. You know, if you want to do drugs, you can do them right next to me. I don't give a fuck. No. Yeah. You know, if you want to smoke or if you want to um, uh, get drunk, I'm all for it. I got a shit ton of alcohol in my house. I just personally don't do it. And I don't, I don't drink because I don't have anything against it. I don't drink specifically because just like I don't eat, I'm really bad on my diet, right? Sure. So tasting things and alcohol burns like right. shit. Right. It doesn't taste like cotton candy and syrup. So I don't fuck with it. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just like, like when you hear like that you don't you don't drink or smoke, you're like, man, that's cool. Like that. And, you know, I said, and I, and I guess it's not like a, it's like an intentional of a decision is like, you know, it's just, it just doesn't appeal to you. But like, I don't know. It's just cool, like to to have a fucking clear head and not be addicted to fucking coffee and <clears throat> weed and shit. But if you are, that's okay. But if you are, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Of course, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to take a phone call? Yeah, yeah. Still. Hello? Hello? Hey, is this JPEG from DC? This is JPEG from DC. Am I on with uh, Lyle and Lobo? Yes, sir. Wow, we're talking to an image. We are talking to. Are I'm you an really NFT? a picture. Uh, no, God, I'm not that um, fancy. <laughs> no. So okay, so I have a question that's been bothering me for like four years now. I have to know the answer to this. Um, Loyati, you have a song called Peekaboo, and in it, you have a lyric that goes, she blow that dick like a cello. What does that mean? Infamous line. I want to say before I answer this that I have had many furious feuds with everyone involved in this song. Because they have not only heard it before it came out, Bob the Head agreed it was amazing. We we shot a video. It got mixed, got mastered. All these, I played it in rooms full of board members. It's so many steps before that song came out. And so many people heard it and no one corrected me that cello is not an instrument you blow, you string instrument. Nobody said anything. Did anybody ask you? Nobody said you anything to me. Your friends. Did and it didn't even I become a thing. That. It didn't even become a thing to like a year or two later. Like people loved the song for like a year or two until anyone realized that you can't be blown like a cello because because a, a cello was a so, 
instrument. I saw you back in twenty six and started to follow your music. Um, probably, I guess I think it was the next year that song came out, and me and my roommate mm -hmm. were bumping that track. And when that line happened, we had to rewind it a couple times because we didn't know what was going on. I, I fucked up JPEG. You could be played like a cello. Yeah, I was talking about being blown like all sex. Well, look, you know that's how these things work, right? Is like, you know, it's not like if some if you say something, it doesn't make sense. You just with pure confidence, you just declare it to make sense. Mm. You know, like no one's like if look if you have a song and you, I mean, you know, I, I know I know that JPEG called it in question, but like no one's gonna question you really. If like if someone says what does that mean, you're like, what do you mean? What does that mean? Ooh. Like you just like you, like you can force shit to make yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can. I wish I had that confidence in the mind when it first happened. I kind of like to go on the ship like I fucked up. But had I had that kind of confidence, yeah. oh, hundred percent, I would have been like, yeah. "What do you mean? What it means? Yeah, it means I said what I said. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's the answer. You yeah, said, you said mm -hmm. that's the, I, that. I, that's the answer. I said what I said. He said what he said. Oh, yeah. JPEG. Okay, y'all. Thank you for answering that. Maybe you guys can give me some advice because you are both uh, famous-ish. Um, well, not famous for sure. Yes, we're um, both equally famous. When you get to <laughs> celebrities, please. When you get please. to a point in your life where you look in the mirror and you're like, "Holy shit, how did I get there?" Um, you've been kind of working your whole life towards one goal, or maybe not one goal. You don't really know where you're going, but you're there, and you're like, "How the fuck did I get here?" What was the question again? You didn't even actually get to it. I think he was getting there. I mean, did we, are you still there, JPEG? Yeah, no, I'm still here. Okay. Um, so if you work really hard at something, you know, Loya, you're a rapper. Uh, while you are a frog who appears on the internet all the time. I'm sorry. That lifestyle change once you start. What did you just say to me? Wow. I'm going to oh, let it slide. I, you know, I, I, I'm going to let it slide. Go, continue your question. I'm gonna let it slip. I'm not here to be aggressive. Once you get to that point in your life where you've gotten to the goals you've been going for, you know, you're like a TikTok star, you're a rapper. Like, how do you cope, I guess, with being that different part of your life? Geckos. Yeah. I'm sorry, JPEG. When you get to, to that point, really. say it again. When you get there, what? Yeah, when you get to that point in your life, like, how do you cope with your life going to such like a different level? You know, when you're not doing the same shit you used to, when everything you've been working at is just happening. Bro, it took me five years. Specifically because my life moved so fast. You know, my career took off and never slowed down. Like I was moving so fast. It wasn't until COVID hit that I slowed down and got to really look at and even be, you know, thankful for all of my accomplishments. I was moving so much and so fast. I never had time to actually sit and think about all the things I did and everything. So it took me five years. Yep. Everyone's different though. Cool, cool. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I've been working in the pursuit. No, you go, you go. I'm what? not about me, not about me. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I've been working um, for like a long time, like a couple of years uh, to get where I am and now I'm like finally here. It's really crazy to like look back. And I don't know, I never thought I would get here and now I'm like actually at this point in my life. It's a blessing. Can you take that? What? Yeah, can we talk to them? No, no, that that was a phone call. No, no, I said, can we actually speak to them? Do you want me to do any call back on my phone? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Can I call them back yeah. and then you know how to merge the phone calls? Don't no, even give them any the insight. Computer. I can't. Uh, that's fine. Uh, okay. This is my roommate asking. This is my roommate asking if I want dinner. Please, can I talk yeah, to your roommate? Let me, let me can I can I please talk? Can I please talk to your roommate? And don't tell him who it is. Okay, appreciate. It. Hey, y'all here? Hey, I got a friend who wants to talk to you. No, just talking to my computer. Wait, what? Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you.
Okay. Good for it. It's a friend. Okay. What are you going to give with more than that? I, I love... I love your hair. Today. It is nice. It's pretty. I love when you wear that Thank yellow you. shirt. The the yellow shirt you wear, I like that one. Bye. Uh, thank you. It's okay. It's okay, we tried. Man, that was really wholesome. Yeah. I think we petrified my roommate. Yeah. Yeah. Good deed done today. Well, JPEG, thank you so much for giving us a little glimpse into your life. It seems like you got a good thing going on, and, um, you know, we're honored that you let us in for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Please, if you ever come back, come back as an MP4. Yeah, happy to share my Have a good night, JPEG. An MP4. That's a nice evolution. Can I, hold on, this is bothering me. Can I? Please, quick? please, please, please. Oh yeah. I need to, I need to get like a little like uh, some fucking foam back here or something like Has that. Has anyone ever called you Piccolo? No, I I've never gotten Piccolo before. Wow. I might have gotten. I I think I've gotten a pickle, but I've never gotten Piccolo. Pickle Rick. No, I've never gotten Pickle Rick. Pick I've gotten what was it Frog P. Yo, someone told me I looked like an avocado the other day, which I thought was funny. Hmm. Piece of broccoli, I thought was funny. Was, when I get compared to food, I think it's funnier than, <laughs> yeah. like... Like, someone called me a pea, I thought that was funny. Yeah. But, like... Toad is unoriginal. Frog. Hmm. Like, I fucking call me a frog. I feel... It's in the... It's right there. Right. Yeah. Gecko. And who called me? When it rung. What did it say? Yeah, get out of here? No. Not sure. We're thugging. Let's take more calls. Hmm. Hmm. Nick? Nick? Yeah. That's me. Hey, Hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm doing great. How are you guys? It's cute stuff going on. We're doing good. I'm really excited that I got on. We're excited to have you. Yeah, please, Nick, explore and express. All right. Well, I guess you guys know us right now. You could read what I was calling about. So, hop into it. Uh, Nick, um, I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what level. I don't know what floor of your house you're on, or if you're 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 like cutting in and out and in and out and in and out. All right, I think I uh, I'm on Wi-Fi calling. I got off. Let me see if that's any better. Is this better? Okay. Try. Can try you hear? All right, Nick. I'm gonna be honest with you. Try talk. Try a little. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I really want to hear what you're saying. Try talking for a little bit, and, and I'm for, unfortunately, if if it keeps cutting out we, we won't be able to take your call okay all right i understand um here keep talking for a little bit okay, so, you, i mean what do you think can you let's hear see. It? i think it doesn't sound bad all right yeah keep going all right What's the so uh i got this wedding coming up right and uh it's an old friend of mine we've known each other for since first grade and uh she's been married in this fashion for many years now they have a kid together I don't know how much to give as a gift. Now, there's a problem because I, uh, I'm i going to um, a bar for the wedding. It's it's at a brewery. So it's really like casual wedding, whatever. I don't know how much to give because usually, you know, you give like uh, how much each head costs. But if it's at a bar, it doesn't cost you much, right? Say, so, you give money? He, I think I think he's okay. So he's asking yeah, to a yeah. wedding. He's at a bar, and he's asking how much money or like 
or or I guess how much money or like no, I think money, he's money money value of a gift maybe no I think he's just saying how much money, you, how much money? Are, you, exactly. are you saying how how much money to give or how much money gift value a gift uh, of I don't cash. Know how people gifts for getting married yeah yeah it's like a, a wedding gift you know I've like only been in one wedding in my life. People have like registries, you know the wet the registry. I thought that was for baby showers. They also do it for baby showers. Yeah. I don't like the idea of the wedge, like the the idea of the registry of like here's like stuff that we want. I don't know. I like I no shade anyone does. It. I don't think I could do it. So it's like we're in love. Buy us a new Blu-ray DVD player. Oh, so you went to one wedding? No. You, yes. said, you said you went to one wedding. Yes. Did I don't think the registry. It- nope. Okay, so it sounds to me was, the answer to... The gift was me being there. It sounds to me the answer to Nick's question. And unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to have to let you go That's soon, Nick, because I can't, I can't hear you super well. But Nick... Okay, sounds I'm like sorry. You, it sounds like... No, no, you don't have to, be, you don't have to apologize. It sounds, it, I don't think it's your fault. Did you, unless if you built the satellite on your house yourself. <laughs> it sounds like you don't even need to get a gift. Yachty didn't give... That person a gift. That's what I'm thinking. Contact with the Sounds couple, like, like they need to get you? him a gift and get him a better phone. Yeah. Maybe you should ask them to get you a gift. That would be awesome. That's your gift. Give them gift to them an invoice. Maybe maybe <laughs> I'll get married for the money. Uh, I think phone. it's better if you don't get married. I think you should go to their wedding, save you a lot of money, and you ask for a gift. Go here's what you do. Go to their wedding and then like when people are on the dance floor and they like leave their belongings behind at the table, you just steal from everyone. Yep. And that way you actually instead of this is a better business idea because instead of giving a gift, you actually make a profit. And I'm sure you like your phone, so just steal someone's SIM card. Yeah. See? Okay. Well See, I'm you, not big on stealing, but I could definitely uh definitely do something like that. You know, look. Um, I'll, I'll give I'll give myself as a gift. You got to do what you got to do, man. You know, go out there and, and, and get the bag. Literally, steal someone's bag. 100%. Oh, yeah. And take the cash out of it and claim it for your own and use it to buy a new phone. What else? What, what better advice could we have given? Um, well, thank you so much for calling, Nick. And, um, you know, good luck. Tell them I said congratulations. Nick, stay slick. Hey, thanks, guys. What did you say just now? Stay slit? Slick. Slick. I thought you said say slit, like... Nice. Slit, or like slit in your... Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I've never no. heard that. I, I was about to be like, I've never heard that before, but if... But no. that's, a, that's a thing, right? Like, you make <laughs> it make sense. If I had been like, what's that? It's like, oh, it's just a thing we say. I would have believed... I would have taken you at face value. Yeah. I believed you 100%. Yeah. I have no reason to... Would you have asked me what it meant? I would have asked you what it meant. Uh. And if you would... But then if you had just been like... Oh, it's just something. I, it's just something we say. I would have been like, "All right, cool." Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been like, "You don't question it." No, that's the power of just yeah, standing behind things. Standing behind the thing. Hundred percent. Let's see here. Who do we got? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Suck to gravy. Oh, hello. Gravy from from Texas. Gravy. Hello. Yo yo. Can you hear me? Hit us. What's up, hello. Gravy? We can we can hear you. That's good that's good to hear. No pun intended, but that's really cool. What's um going on with you, hi. Um I'm chilling. Watching the stream, trying not to overheat. Trying not to overheat. Yeah, it's really warm in my room. Do you have a fan? Do you have air conditioning? I have a fan running, yeah. But I'm in Texas, so it's like constantly 90 degrees. And I'm I'm in the... I don't even know where. Um, but I, I'm hearing that same I my, my room I'm has wondering been... if it's on my end now. Nope. Are you hearing that? Hmm. Let's see if we can get those questions. That's What's famous. your question? Hit us. Hit us. What's going on, Gravy? Oh, um, all right. Um, so, um, I recently got, uh, it wasn't, well, I guess it was recent in, in, in the, the grand scheme, but I got cheese on. And, um, 
I was kind of wondering how specifically, if you guys have any advice to get them kind of out of my brain. Um, cause there's Sorry like, that, cause they're just, it's just constant. Like, yeah, anything I think about or anything I'm doing ever, like they're constantly in the back of my brain. And it's not right, the greatest. Rick, it, it's a motherfucker. Hmm. It's time. Yeah, it's and I, time. I like they're, they're the first person I think. They're, they're the first person I think I ever actually loved, which kind of sucked. Mm. Like had like deep, deep, unconditional love for. Hmm. Like you just grew up your whole life. Your parents, fuck them. This one person here is the first person you ever loved. Yeah. Like I, I was prepared to drop everything and like move out and like I was I had I had money saved for down payment on like like a place to live. Yeah. And I was ready to go. Yeah. And um then I they they uh weren't doing well mentally and I was like, all right. And so we took like a little break. Um which I later found out like the two weeks that we were like um not in a relationship that they had been at the guy's house that they cheated on me with like the entirety of that time which really blew well, not now, not fun well so okay so wait Damn. a minute so just to be clear on the timeline did she like did, when you guys took that mm, break that was she seeing him before you bitch. guys took the break mm -hmm. okay so um we when we started dating we took like a trip out of state together and um towards the end of that trip it was like they were they were texting a bunch and he would he was really just trying to like make it to like all of her attention was on him yeah. like away from me for the trip like and, and she acknowledged that that was happening and um so i was like you just need to cut it off because she would just talk about how toxic he was and like how he was not great and um let me say one thing let me say one thing real quick I, by the way by the way, let me say one thing real quick, mm -hmm. because to put in a positive frame, I'm, I'm, I'm at least glad to hear that this person showed you her true colors before mm -hmm. you dropped like, everything, before you dropped everything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So at least consider yourself <laughs> blessed for the timing of the occurrence. The unfolding. Mm -hmm. The unfolding. Yeah. It almost worked out better for you. Yeah. Had you dropped everything and then... Found yeah, I, I'm, I, I agree. Like, I, I got, I, I dodged a bullet, but like, fuck. Like, it hurts. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, it hurts so much. Like, it's have the worst have pain you, I've ever have, probably felt in my entire life. Have you cried? Oh, yeah. I, the day after I found out, I'm, I'm, I have ADD, so I take Adderall, like, to nice. kind of focus, and nice. it also makes me insanely self aware. And so the day after, dude, I was like an hour late to work because I just sat in the parking lot bawling my fucking <laughs> eyes. And like the week after, the whole week after, I was just, it was dev devastating. She, like I felt like I... How does she feel? Does she I feel mean, like shit? Or does she not? Dude, get oh my, dude, like this is the worst part, dude. She's with that guy, you know? And like, she just is happy. Like she just, she, she, I know I shouldn't be looking at her shit. Like I blocked her on everything. Um, but I made the mistake to like check because you know, like I can't. I don't know. It's hard to just immediately cut someone out like that. But I, I checked and like she had tweeted that like she was doing ridiculously well. She was like doing uh, amazing. Which There's, I fuck, dude, like how the fuck? I want to say I know, I know, I know you said it yourself. It, it is hard, but that's the first fucking thing you got to do is unfollow block Wipe on it. all the social media. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. That's the first yeah. thing you gotta do. And, I, and I know, and I know well, yeah, you understand Twitter, that. Like, but I know that it is hard. But that's the first thing you uh -huh. gotta do. I fully. Fully, yeah. I've had it's her definitely... blocked for like two or three weeks now. And um, well, on Twitter, yeah. like you can like still view their shit even though they're blocked. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but I just did that. But you can't do it. Just, I don't know. It's like I get in these. I know. I get in these really. I've had. It's up and down. You know, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm depressed, obviously. Like, because this is devastating but like it's up and down and you know sometimes it's and like i feel like i'm over it and then like the next day it'll hit me and like those days are the days i check which is like 
because I can't, I'm not strong enough to like hold it back from me doing it. So like I end up doing it anyway, like checking her shit, which is horrible. I hate it. Damn. Horrible. Damn. Yeah. And she's seen him every day. And like they're hanging out. I need apparently. you after to start I looking elsewhere. Yep. Go out. Go to the bar. I am. Yeah, man. I'm. 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 Oh yeah. I'm. I'm working really hard on like music stuff because like while we were together, I didn't really focus on that. And I'm. I've been working on music like heavily, which is the one thing that I like know I can't get tired of. Like I just enjoy it so much. And like I'm really trying to focus super hard on that. But I work like a full time job in an office and I don't talk to anyone like while I'm at that office so I just kind of sit there and like do my work like droning I kind of go like out of my head entirely and just do my work and I'll actually I'll just listen <laughs> I just finished like all of the podcasts on Spotify and oh, I'm yeah. starting to move to like VODs you have left I've just been like yeah. binging all of it which is great you know? I fucking love your shit so much Thank you, man. You know, I, I want to say, because I want to say to you, um, you know, I think you had the right idea of like leaning into your music because like, I don't want to see, I, I don't want to see you like be like, you know, there's that whole fucking expression of like the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. I don't agree with that because then you just get in another cycle because you got to mm -hmm. like, because I like that you're working on your music, right? Because then you, you're building this thing of happy you're building this source of happiness that is within your control because like you know your girlfriend your mm -hmm. relationships are not they're 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 50 in your control there's there's this part of it you can control mm -hmm. but it's 50 percent of them that you can't control so you're building this music thing this is a source of happiness that's that's all you you yeah. know and that's 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 the sustainable sources of of happiness i think yeah I and mean, i mean you're putting your energy somewhere yeah. positive yeah of course you know? I feel like you should never chase love. Yeah. I agree. I agree. That always, that always fucks people up. Yeah. I want to do it, like, all the time. Like, I want to work on music, like, nonstop. Um, but, like, since I have this job and it's, like, an hour away, I'll spend, like, 10 hours of my day not doing any of that. Which, I, I mean, I, while I'm at work, if I'm on my break or some shit, I'll think about, like, I'll just listen to music and be like, oh, shit, that's cool. I want to, like, incorporate that and like, something I make or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Which is, like, a part of, like, the process which is cool i like doing that um but i just want to like I'm don't, on don't, don't, show right don't, I'm don't, like don't play your music on stream because then yachty will shit on it <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah my shit's like very i don't know i haven't really defined like what genre i want to do yet i really like like indie fucking guitar music though like i really like making stuff because it's it. super easy and it like it just takes like minimal effort but like if you make it good it can take a lot of effort but also sound really like good and, like, i don't know i just i enjoy doing that shit. um well, shit, i'm working man. on an album right now because i just want to like put out everything that i'm working on and then people can like i can like see the stats on and then know like what people like from me which i only know what i like from me obviously but like i want to see what other people enjoy listening that i make and then focus on that well, listen, Gravy Man, you know, keep putting out music, keep focusing on yourself, and um, thank you so much mm -hmm. for for calling, man. We wish you the best of luck. Keep it gravy, man. Yeah. Keep it gravy. Could I ask you guys, could I ask you one, yeah. <laughs> could I ask you do, uh, one thing, because I promised my friend that I'd let you guys know. I'll consider it. What is it? Um, um, if I it's asking me to say something, to say hi, eh, fuck it, what is, she, it? what is it? I'm sorry, I'm talking over you. Oh, no. Uh, she likes, she likes, the she likes therapy gecko and she likes yachty so i was gonna ask if you guys could just say hi to olivia nash for me i'll say hi to olivia nash olivia nash olivia nash hey, <laughs> Lomit. olivia nash hey thank you for coming <laughs> that's great thank you so Take much care, gravy. thank you for talking to me i really appreciate it guys bye-bye sweet guy hate that bitch <laughs> has that has anything like that ever happened to you have you ever been cheating no, i'm a player Straight up, yeah. Are you? Are you? Do you have? Are you in a relationship now? What? Oh, you know to. What? Are you in a relationship now? What? Let's take a call. Mm -hmm. We got a. We got a nice one here from. Let's talk to Steph. 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 What's going on? Oh. Dude? Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? 
Hey, Sean. look, I need some advice because I feel I feel like a terrible woman for even admitting this is going on in my life. So I need like two cool gags, like to steer an old lady along. You know what I'm saying? Let's hear it. So can you help me out? You think? Okay. I met this guy. He's a really nice guy. We have a lot of fun together, and we finally, like, you know, we went all the way, you know, and it was terrible. It was terrible, and it's so bad that. Wait, Steph, 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 Steph. Oh, how long? Shit. How long? How long until you guys went all the way? Oh, about a month. A month? Which is a long time, and. and is is a long time, yeah. For nowadays, I respect, well, I respect. for nowadays, yeah. I think that's a long time. Do you? Is that like? And I'm kind of curious. Like, I think is that it. like? Is that typically how you do it, or was there something about Who, this guy? Why did it take a month? Was it? Was he I like mean, shy? I it, because I do it when I want to do it. It might be a day. Respect. It might be a month. It might be never. No, no. You know respect. what I'm saying? That's, that's, and that's I, respect. Respect. I, I did. Absolutely. Respect. So yeah. I did when I thought that you know, that when it just clicked, when we just felt like it, and but everything was like great up till then, and it was like he's like from a hard area in Mississippi, but he's real cool, and I thought okay, he he he's had this way of life before, you know, he's kind of, I just had this mm-hmm. feeling about him, and not to be general, you know, to generalize people, but you know, I just felt it like oh yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be able to go down, I'm ready, and it was just like oh. Uh, so, so okay, is it possible? And I feel terrible. Possible? I feel terrible for Steph, saying. Steph, is it possible that this guy is not bad at sex, but maybe he's bad at sex in comparison to the expectations that you set? Steph, lay it all out. What was you said high expectations? What was, what was bad about it, Steph? Tell us. Go in depth. We're on. Go, well, go, <laughs> get graphic. It's it just you everything. Know, you just name it, and it was all bad. He kissed. He kissed like you would picture a chicken, a chicken pecking the ground. Like, okay, like he had no, <laughs> no passion, like no, like it was fucking. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Like that's the best way to describe it. And I want to tell him so hard, so bad. I mean, not you no, know, to be mean or anything to him. I don't want to like ruin his thuggish ways, you know, and his demeanor. Like bring him down to earth, you know, like make him feel less than a man. I don't want to be mean to people. That's why I feel. That's why I'm calling you. Steph, it's Steph, really Steph, 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 it's Steph, so, Steph. Why don't Why don't oh, you let teach? Me, let me hit why, my weed. I'm, I'm getting Steph, excited. Steph, 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 Steph. Why don't you teach him? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, you see that I opened up the lines of communication with him, and he said we could talk about it. And <sighs> I don't know if it can be fixed. I don't know if this. If that can be fixed, there's so many areas that okay. need help. Let me, let me, ask, you an, let me ask you another question, because I'm I'm curious about this, because you know, okay, I, you because because you took you took a month, you know, and that's your own time. Mm-hmm. I'm curious, how important is sex to you in general? Is it that is it that important? Oh, extremely important. I'm a Scorpio. It's in our DNA and it's in, written in the stars with us. You know what I'm saying? It is very important. I would be lying if I said, oh, no, I don't care. I care about their. Yeah, that's good too. All the rest is good too. But if he can't throw down when the door is closed and nobody's around and entertain me, <laughs> at least, no, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I got to have it all. Yes. I'm very demanding in that manner, but I'm not a liar about it, you know? Just keeping it respect. real. Yeah, respect. Well, you know, Stephanie, so, what do you after, guys think? After, 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 after you did it and it went bad, did it change your view on him? Were you kind of turned off? No, that's why, you know, like I said, I open up the line of communication. I want to maybe talk to him, but like, maybe that's why I, I called. Maybe I need, how should I address it with him without... You know, being mean about it, but being honest, you know, maybe I that's, think, should, that's think, the question I should be asking. I think very respectfully, you should just, like, teach him. Just tell him, you know? Like, I want to teach you about this. I want I want, I want, I want to teach you, or you could spend it more so, like, I want to teach you about more how I like it, you know? I want to teach you about my body. I want to teach you about the things that turn me on. I want to te- I want to I want to show you what turns me on. I want to show you how it turns me on. You now, then it's not more so you're saying that he doesn't know how to do it. You're just basically saying this is how I myself like it done. 
But, you know, there's something about his personality, which that's a good way to, to do it, by the way, Mr. Uh, Yachty Gek, if I may call you that. Mm-hmm. That's an excellent way to put it to someone. But what if a person, and I know you got to know what I'm saying, has a natural demeanor about themselves, like they're so arrogant, like you know, you just know if you put it mm-hmm. to them even well, that, that way like... so kindly, it's going to well- well, that's well, being arrogant. I mean, that that sounds like so a negative. Well, that sounds like a negative trait that has nothing to do with like skill at sex. That sounds like just a trait in general that you seem to not like about him. Yeah, I mean, but then it comes hand in hand with trying to tell them. Yeah. Well, now I kind of like the arrogance in a way because his general <laughs> demeanor, like I said, is cool. No, listen, because because he's intelligent, so I like the confidence. Let me put it to you that it's confidence. Okay, sure. But yeah, not. Sure. But he did kind of, he did kind of build himself up a little, but not over over the top. Okay, I, I so will be you, honest about that. It was more of a confidence thing. So I was expecting a lot because of that. I should so say it that is, way. The problem is, is that if if the oh, the one thing that you do like is this like commanding confidence, even if it's misguided confidence, if the one thing you do like is the confidence, then for you to sort of take the wheel and, she and likes try a to few teach things. him, I think she likes a few things. She likes them. Yeah. Yeah. It's one thing she doesn't. <laughs> I do, I do. But you know, is it's it's so like it's oh god, it's, hey, look, it's like you, a, look, a, a never you, ending battle on my head right the now. The bottom line is, if you really like him, I'm, I'm with I'm with Yadi, dude. Like like put in like like fucking teach him if you yeah. really like if you really want to make this work. How, how would, would you turn him? a how would you turn a board and into a noodle? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, <laughs> Yeah, have you ever seen Grease? That's what that whole thing. That's what that whole thing is. Oh, God. You ever seen Jesus? That's what I'm saying. Turn like water to wine. Hey, no. You can do anything. Well, that, hey, I wish wish that would have happened at least. That would have been nice. You know how you can do it? Oh, hell no. I'm not going to call it. No. Bring. Uh -uh. No. No, no, don't do that. You you might. You might. You might. That might get shot. You let me talk to him. You might. Yeah, no telling what's going to happen oh, to y'all. Well, what was your, what no, was your idea? Pretty, dude, I, I suggest, so. Steph, I suggest. A, a much better hear me answer, out. By the way, Dave, yeah, I'm sure he, Steph, he'd probably Steph, hear me <laughs> out. Hear me out. All right. <sighs> I suggest okay. you bring another woman into the picture. All right. And you let him watch. <laughs> and you give him a show of a lifetime, but also a tutorial. Hmm. What about another guy? I think I've made more down with that. Do you want to get your <laughs> ass wool, <well>, Steph? <laughs> oh my God! At this point, I just, I just, oh God! I know I'm selfish like that. I, I, I prefer that over vagina, and I have done that before in the days of my youth. I'm not hating anybody that's into that. Hey, do your thing, but mm, I'm more of a. <sighs> A, sub, a subtype female, but not really, but sort of. Kind of. I'm getting too too personal here. Okay, back well, look, to the to the main subject. Well, okay, I, well, I have, I, you know, sort of going okay, but, along with this idea. What about an open relationship? You know, that's an idea. People do that I though. They're like, they're that. like, I like this. This partner fills this need. I like this partner my emotion. I have sex with that person. No, that guy. I'm totally and then that guy, for you know, that. then he'll, he'll be like, you know, uh, you know, the, open the. You could open the relationship. That's an idea. You know, not everyone's into that, but that's an idea. No, my last re- relationship, we had an agreement it was gonna be open. I said, look, just don't lie to me and don't throw things in my face. Other than that, I don't care. You do your thing. We'll have fun. He's like, cool, I'm down, and I, and I get these texts, you know, you better stay away from my man. At my age, girl, bye, and you bye too, man. Get out of my life. No, I, but as long, yeah, I'm, but that was perfect. Maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should ask him if he wants to do something like that. That's a great idea. I'm so glad I called you guys. Thanks. Anytime. Anytime. I really appreciate Anytime. it. Thank I you so much so for much calling, better. Steph. Was, I'll be watching the news. Sure, it was Nothing great me talking to you both. Sorry about that. I mean, was... So I'll be watching the news, make sure nothing goes wrong. You made him sound pretty aggressive. Uh, uh, no, I just need to relax a little. Jesus Christ. But it was great talking to you, little, little Yachty. I like your music, too. I like God the bless. beats in your hair. That's my favorite part. 
and your there nails. You go. Yes. Hey. They're beautiful. Hey now. Thank you, sir. Hey Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Hey, you too, Steph. Thank T you. Toodles. Well, that's where we're going to have to conclude our day. I think I have to get going. Say again? So I think that's where we have to conclude our day. Yachty, man. This was excellent. You were fucking amazing, man. I cannot thank you enough. This was so much fun. <laughs> to everyone watching who has stayed, those who have come new, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be back at it soon. Absolutely, man. For sure. Before, before we go, is there anything you want to fucking plug or anything like that? Anything you got going on? Nope. Beautiful. No. Yeah. Beautiful. Gek Nation, thank you so much for joining us. You all, remember to stay blessed. <laughs>